it can be chill what we're you know how we how we drip in you know um it's usually not like a million people watching this live you know what i mean but like we'll see like it's usually just like eight hundred and fifty thousand, something like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah close yeah, yeah. close to a million thing is like i i never know how much i don't know like how big cats are and shit like you know what i mean like i was like dude like Ezek's gonna do this like how can you get Ezek to do it he's like fuck yeah i'm like i don't know i thought like <laughs> you know what i mean I, I don't, like... i'll get i'll get Ezek to do anything <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's more your pull rather than i'm uh... like the, the the whisperer you know he listens to me. <laughs> somehow like I, don't, I don't know how i fell into that fucking equation but i did yeah 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 you get it's like this jedi mind shit um uh, that you got going so so you know this like you can see on the side you've got the comments and stuff um i have i guess i could tap chat yeah i think if you tap or if you tap comments uh, uh on the, yeah on the right hand side so you'll see i mean there's always some people like peanut gallery like kibitzing and stuff uh, uh if it's yeah we'll well we'll screenshot those and we'll we'll figure it out <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's usually like a mix of like you know deep thoughtful stuff mixed with like you know retardation of various uh levels you know yeah which you know i'm very used to i'm very used to <laughs> That's what we need, man. So should should I uh, should I troubleshoot uh, and hit up Mister Diablo? Yeah, you well, think? let's. Um, I mean, I just emailed the link, and he said, uh, or I, I Instagram messaged him the link, and he said, uh, "Can you can you shoot this to my email?" So I sent it. I sent it to his email because because it's it's usually better to do it on the computer. But I mean, if your if your phone connection is cool, then uh, then that's cool. Yeah, and mine's pretty good. It's just easier. It's a better setup. <laughs> for me to just have this right here my computer's just like in a weird spot with all gear and shit around it yeah 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 I which got, usually I... would would look cool right but well you've got the shrine though behind you right you've got some kind of shrined out shit happening i got a lot of shit going on there <laughs> hell yeah dude so let me if i navigate out of this can you you can still hear me does I my screen still go blank you. yep a screen goes blank but uh but i can still hear you all right, I'm gonna shoot him a text and be like, uh, you know. I mean, dude, even if people pop in and out and it gets super janky, man, I'm a uh, getting good at broadcasting, Paul. I'm becoming uh, becoming you're, a you're professional. I'm becoming a pro. Well, yeah, I mean, professionals get paid, but you know, it's, I'm getting to pro quality. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good way to word it. I mean, I'm actually about to start like a like a Patreon, I think, before the end of the year and just be like, you know, kind of put it out there like, okay, I'm doing this every week now. You can count, you know, being like, I'm going to be professional consistency, but people got to throw in a little money to make it happen, you know? Yeah, so, which is fair, you know? Yeah. I think it's fair. I know like Hoya from Madball has a Patreon and he does his podcast that you could stream, like you could listen on Spotify or whatever. And on his Patreon, you get like the full video podcast. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. like you get to see my shrine versus uh, listen <laughs> to just my stupid, you know, my my accent. <laughs> well, you've got like medium accent, you know. It's like I've got ze I've got ba all basically zero. You've got the medium like Goldilocks, like third bowl of porridge accent, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then ezak has got the like the super flavorful. Oh yeah, he's uh. I don't even know what you you. He's like drinking battery acid all day. <laughs> Let's see if he's texting me back. Uh, no, he's not. Ah, whatever. Casu just... Casually late, you know. It's like, dude, it's all good, man. This isn't this isn't like a fucking uh, I don't know academic meeting and stuff. Although we could take it there, we could take. We can. <laughs> yeah. We can. Dude, I I got to admit, I haven't I have yet to check out the whole new Black Anvil, which I mean I'm not even supposed to have, but you you leaked it to me, so no, you're allowed so to have. I'll tell I'm, I'm allowed, I'll, I'm I'll have tag it. season of mist in this and be like, I sent it to my friend. What are you going to do? <laughs> Fair enough. But I but I um but I I was checking out the two tracks that you actually you know that were dropped, um, and it's fucking awesome, dude. It's it yeah. Dude, thank you very much, dude. Thank especially you. the especially the mid tempo <clears throat> eight bit terror. It's uh. I love that. Uh, I don't know. I love all the the flavors and the aspects, but like that that mid tempo shit, where that to me is like where the black metal and the hardcore, like uh, 
like I was hearing the kind culminates. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that rhythmic. Uh, you know when it's like not blasting and it's got some of that nasty. Like, uh, dude, do you listen to um that band Housed? You fuck with that? I've at never all? heard of it. I've never they, heard they of it. Can, even. I I think they're Norwegian. I don't know. They have a lot of that sort of rock and roll, but like black metal. You know, it's maybe a little tribulation vibe. Uh, you know, in there as well. You know, it's like that kind of. Um, yeah, I I think it's necessary if you could still manage to to get that bite. You know, like. And not have it feel too mellow. I think yeah. it's, uh, why not, like, have some variation in, in your album, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Black Anvil's been going, like, more and more variation, like, uh, over the years, right? It seems like it's kind of, like, like... Yeah, per- it's... I like to, you know, I don't... I like the challenge, and I like finding new aspects. Me, personally, like, the box is very limited of what these hands do so you know like if if i if i know the box i i know where where i fit it's like all right let's find let's just get every region of this little box that i'm stuck in and you know utilize my limitations yeah 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 well that can personally that could give you an more ideas than just being able to do everything on earth and then you're just like what am i gonna do you know yeah and i got the other guys could do everything on earth so it's like i could bullshit my way through it and be like you know how to play it they get mad at me though because uh because sometimes some of these caveman riffs are a bit challenging and in my head you know jeremy is like a flawless absolutely insane guitar player so i'm like ah you could do it and then he's like that's just not how it works man (laughs) you know like it's just not in my wheelhouse i'm like "Ah, come on but you can do randy you randy roach you know so it's it's fun, you know, but I like the challenge and I like trying to do different shit all the time, you know, uh, just to not get stale. Yeah, I mean, I actually. Oh, it's, there's a chat. There, there's something. Uh oh. Joe Bill seventy two. Joe Bill, man. this is friends of yours, man. That yeah, that's old school Rafe uh, Rafe circle. Sick. You know, I wonder if I could call Ezak while we're. Sounds like Paul might have got cut off, but he'll come in and out. Um, yeah, well, you know, why don't I do a little announcing? Do a little announcing in the meantime here. So we've got Paul Delaney, who I'm chatting with already, the man behind or in front of, uh, whatever you want to say, Black Anvil. Um, it's funny because people who are watching this, it's going to be partially people who, like, deeply, deeply know, uh, uh, you know, Ezek and Paul, and then there's going to be some people who just totally don't know it all. You know, it's like it's going to be various different scenes colliding, man, and that's what it's all about. So, yeah, Paul Delaney of Black Anvil, uh, the incredible New York-based uh, black metal. Wouldn't want to box him in by just saying black metal, but they do identify NYBM, New York black metal. Um, but also, Paul used to be in Kill Your Idols, or still is. I guess the band is not done, but um, from back in the day, classic New York hardcore Ben, Kill Your Idols. Um, so there's the deep roots there. And, um, you know, Paul and I have been friends uh, since... Um, it's funny, you know, I'd say like new friend. Like, yeah, my new friend, Paul. But it's like I've known Paul now for like eight years or something, uh, which is nuts. And we, we, made, fr- we, we made friends through, uh, through Psalm Zero, uh, my band, which technically still exists, but is kind of on break. Um, there he is. And... Uh, so yeah, so Paul knows uh, knows Danny Diablo, aka Lord Ezek, New York uh, international hardcore superstar. Um, Ezek uh, was the singer of Crown of Thorns uh, and still is, um, and also Scarhead. You know these are New York hardcore institutions, man. Um, and uh, and uh, you know Danny Diablo has got a crazy solo career over the years as well different styles from hardcore to metallic hardcore to rap uh influence stuff and just straight up rap um so yeah we're going to talk about these sort of how people have branched out over the years oh here's paul what's up i'm back yeah you're back no face but but voice um how would I make the face happen? He, yeah, he's having some technical uh, difficulties there. Oh yeah. Well, let's let's see. Maybe uh, I'll have him in the in the IG. Uh, I'll open up the IG message. Boom. All right. There we go. 
Yeah. I mean, it should be right. I mean, it should be just pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You just hop on the, on the link, but it's like, I don't know, maybe it's like, is he, is he doing phone or computer? He was having an issue with the computer and for whatever reason, he tried it on the phone and it just wasn't allowing him the proper access. Huh? Let I don't know what know. happened. I'm, I'm assuming when I left to make the, to make the call, I just texted him the link in hopes that like just to direct open it up on your text message. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me that let me, we could Let me yeah, uh, let me see if this is uh No, that's the right one. I sent him the right one. Yeah. Well, we'll see for a little bit, man. I mean like you know, we can just bullshit too. I mean, it's all, you know, cuz we'll get to talk about cuz but yeah, once once Ezek gets here, it's the Ezek show, right? I mean, we're just going to be, you know, we're going to be just like uh oh, Artie yeah. Lang, Artie Lang and Robin Givens, right? I mean, it's like once 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 like, they're Robin like laughing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. It's gonna, he's going to be uh or he's going to be Patrice O'Neill and we're going to be like o Opie and Anthony or something. But um yeah, I'm going to run to the store or something, you know. Like, we'll just <laughs> right. let him go. Yeah. Don't run to but the store. He that's, should, that's, uh, uh, you know, he you, should have this uh, this link. I should have yeah. I, I should have went over his house or something, and you know. Well, we'll keep checking in. But anyway, uh, but so yeah, yeah we could keep chatting. Let's keep yeah, talking. Yeah, shit. Yeah, dude. I mean, fucking. Um, yeah, like the. Um, well, you were just. I mean, this I would ask him too when he's when he's here. But like, I mean, how was the tour, dude? It was like uh, I, I didn't even know you played in Crown of Thorns. I mean, that was just like a crazy. Like, I just happened to text you out of the blue, basically. Like. Yeah, I, you know, uh, they asked me to just fill in for like a show or two last summer. And I was like, yeah, you know, uh, was it actually like over a year ago? Um, you know, I, I've always just randomly done, you know, been able to step up and learn some shit really quick. And, you know, I stepped in for Madball for a couple of occasions and that, you know, you need to be a professional to do this. A lot of people think these bands are you know, oh, generic Harper. It's like, nah, it needs to be I, I as don't. impeccable it's a... as Slayer. No, dude, it's chops. Or man. you I get mean... the, yeah, yeah. It's, it's chops. And again, it's like, you have to learn 20 songs in like five minutes and get there, you know? And I've yeah. never filled in under, it, it's always been like shitty circumstances that I've, I've had to fill in. So as much as I do enjoy it, I would much rather see Hoya be there. But, you know, this came up and they had some shows and they asked me to do a weekend with them. And I was like, yeah, man, two shows. Great. You know, it was a challenge to learn the stuff. And I was going to be out of the country. So I had to sort of like learn it with no bass. I borrowed a bass, you know. Yeah. Uh, I figured it out. And then it just sort of worked itself in. And they asked me about this tour, which was, you know, an East Coast run and a West Coast run. And I'm like, well, you know, while I have the downtime, sure. You know, and then the conversation, you know, furthered a little bit where it's like, well, if we write new music, would you like to be involved? And I think they're one of the legacy bands from New York personally that they really still connect with young kids, you know, with the, with the younger current scene. And a lot of older bands don't, you know? Uh, so I think if it's done the right way, it could be extremely effective. And, you know, uh, I'd like to see that happen because, again, they were one of my favorite bands from that era, from that period wait, of time. Wait, so are you are you talking about Crown of Thorns or Madball? Or... Crown of Thorns. Crown of Thorns. Yeah, Crown yeah, yeah. Thorns, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, because yeah, that's like connecting with the younger generation. That was something I was going to ask both of you. Is like, yeah, I mean, just like, yeah, how, yeah, like our new kids coming up that are way into this. Obviously, you're saying they are, you know, and just like what, um, yeah, it's interesting which bands connect. Um, and maybe why and like yeah you know like you have bands like trapped under ice turnstile like this wave of of bands where i think you, you know mike dijon's guitar playing to them was uh was like pivotal in, in the the creation of those bands in that era of hardcore you know and those are the kids that sort of are bringing it to like mainstream levels now you know and doing crazy stuff so it's wild, you know, it's just those two records were very influential. Yeah. And somehow didn't, I don't know, they, they didn't play themselves out, you know, they became timeless. Yeah. Yeah, there's something with like, uh, I don't know, like the sort of, um, like, it's, it's funny because there's a lot, like some stuff gets uh, a rep for being like, all, like tough music or something or like, like it's uh, like it's all about 
certain things. But then when I listen to that, that band in particular, it's like the early stuff. It's like, uh, it's got this kind of like, I mean, emo is not the right word, but like, like a post hardcore. I was going to say emotional. Emotional. Yeah. Like not, yeah. Like not emo, like, like, you know, like you can't do four push ups or whatever, but like, you know, like, uh, e you know, like emotional, uh, yeah. Like there's love and hate and stuff about women and heartbreak and, and, uh, but then there's also yeah, all a harder... the lyrics are very personal. Yeah. Yeah, no, totally. And I well, mean, the, the, the yeah. harder, the hard part is the exterior, you know, that's what I always got from it. Like Mike Dijon and or Danny would crush you <laughs> in seconds, you know, but that right. doesn't have anything to do with the music. That's just the reality of the situation. You know, the music wasn't about that. They were because they're just guys from Queens and they grew up the way they grew up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, people have so much different stuff going on, man, you know, and it's just like comes out in, in, in music in like a million different different ways, man, you know, like, um, but that's sick that people are all like, I mean, but is it also so there's like young people to shows, but is there also like, are there also a lot of like older heads? I mean, is it like, what's the like, what's the breakdown? Would the, you say like these shows? Well, these in particular, you know, like we, with Crown of Thorns, we did a show, a headliner in Richmond, and it was all young kids, and it was great. It was a great show. And I, I don't, you know, doing Black Anvil, I'm not playing hardcore shows these days anymore. So, but I still pay attention and see what's going on. Uh, just, you know, out of curiosity, even if it's bands I don't really give a shit for, it's it's nice to, you know, just pay attention. And, you know, we, we played a show, and it it was great. We did this tour and, you know, the East Coast was, you know, total transparency. It wasn't the best uh, run. The West Coast was was amazing. Uh, that actually worked out in our favor. But what I see is a lot of the sick of it all, like the older sick of it all crowd doesn't really even know Crown of Thorns, you know. And I'm assuming it's like an older warp tour. Like when these bands both got slightly more popular in the 2000s, their crowd got a little different. And these are the people that really come out to support Sick of It All and AF these days. And AF is the wild card because they are still relevant. But I would assume billing, it's, you know, depending what the bill is, you know, that's the type of fan you get. But you, we definitely did get a lot of older people. And some of those, some of them just, you know, saw and heard of Crown of Thorns for the first time. And to me, that's crazy. Maybe just because I'm a New Yorker and it's like ingrained in my head that like, you know, you, you have like the big four and then the, the family tree under it, you know? Right, 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 right. Uh oh, I'm getting texts. I'm getting texts. Uh, wait, tell me. What, oh, wait. So when you I'm say big send... four. Wait, okay. Wait. All right. I'm sending him the. Uh, at least the anticipation's building up. I just sent him the link uh, okay. to a different email. Okay, right on. We'll I'm get the story. Yeah, yeah, it. no, totally. Wait, I'm interested though. You, you, you said big four of, of like New York hardcore, and then the tree under. Are you talking '80s? Like, with this is like a, like AF Chromags or well, like or no or, or Warzone? Yeah, I, as I said, that, I didn't, I didn't have a, I didn't have a specific four in mind, but okay. I would have to say like an overall big four would of course be AF sick of it all. Let's say Chromags. Uh, Mad Bull, even though it's later, you know, to me, Mad Bull waved that flag so hard that they're up there, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the big three would be like AF, Warzone, Sick of It All, Chromat. Maybe that's a big four. I don't know. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. There, there's, it's interchangeable. That That's a whole different story. You know, I'd need to sit down and like obsess over this for like a day and then get back to you. And what I <laughs> no, thought. no, of course. But what you said, you know, four, I go, yeah. Yeah, I go for like carnivore here and there, but you know, there's other people that that carnivore comes into the conversation. It's like, no man, that's more metal. Right? Yeah, crossover okay. thrash or something. <laughs> I, yeah, I know it gets into. <laughs> but it gets to me, it fits hairs. into hardcore. I, I mean, definitely, like, because uh, you know, when I when I hit you up recently, it was about like I wanted some, you know, little uh, little uh, corrections or, or like. Uh, assistance on this uh you know i'm making this like uh history of new york hardcore like i do these little documentary things not documentaries but i do these little 
educational videos for the kids or whatever on different topics. So, um, but yeah, I was like, I, I, I went back, I know. Right. And I went, I was like, okay, I really think sick of it all really is my favorite New York hardcore band. Oh shit. Lord Ezek, Danny Diablo. Here we go. Oh my God. I'm sorry about that guys. Holy. <laughs> Yo, that was, that was <laughs> so have, have other email. I didn't even know. Oh, dude, I, no problem at See, all, man. I... Dude, thank you so much for coming on here, Danny. <laughs> thank you. Can you hear me? Or is... Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it sounds totally fine. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's fucked up, people in the in the um, comments will let us know, probably. Uh... I'm sorry about that, guys. Hey, yo, uh... e, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screenshot all the comments for anyone talking shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm all about love and happiness over here. I got I got my own podcast that I can't even without Jay Reason, I'm 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 totally lost. <laughs> so, what, what's up guys? Yeah, man. I don't know. We're just what what were we we were talking about yeah, we were talking about younger kids being into we're, how how you get a good We're just good talking shit about crowd. you. Oh, that's that's very really nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Vinny stigma that's the stigma move. When you walk in the room and you say, like, Hey, we're just talking shit about you and you're like, Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, you, you know. No, I'm like super grateful, polite man today. Um, Thank you so much. For this. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. Uh, how's congratulations on the new EP, by the way. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so man. Much. Been 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 catching up on that, man. Um, yeah, I want to go. I, I want to go deep on all the details and shit. But but yeah. But how was this tour, man? You seemed like super positive on Instagram. Like it was just just mad, like grateful across the board, right? Well, it's incredible. It was great. First, it was great to play with Paul Delaney. Uh, Paul. Is, a, is an old friend from Queens, and uh, I didn't want to do it with anyone else because, uh, you know, our bass players you know, left. You mean like Franklin, the original, is in uh, in L.A. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he, uh, he's alive. But um, I wanted someone that that could fit the the, the, the whole you know, aesthetic of the band. And, you know, Paul from being from Queens, and I know Paul for a long time, and he's a brother of mine, so... Uh, it was perfect. He, you know, he's like the Cliff Burton of, of, of Crown, Crown Thorns, but but alive and kicking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's not just about who has the chops to play, right? It's about who you are. Yeah. Who you are, you know? What, what, it's what also, it, it's, 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 there's, there's, there's millions, there's thousands of great bass players, thousands of great guitar players, and uh, and you can see them every every every. Every day we go to Sam Ash, you know, when he asks for a fucking, uh, hey, can I, I need new strings. And the guy be like, oh, here they are. And I'd be like, yo. See, that, you know, unfortunately, well, use, it's not me. You know, the guy would be like, I use this and this and this. And I'd be like, shut the fuck up. And just give me my strings because I'm going to Japan tomorrow while you're over here playing in a section to like three people. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so basically, it's, 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 it's all about how you conduct yourself. And how you work with people. So oh, yeah. you're the best person in the world, but you're, and you're a dick. No one's gonna want to fuck with you. So that's that's yeah. how it is. that's how life is. Also. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't trash yeah. Guitar Center too hard because I remember ten years ago or so, me and me and my my buddy Mike went into Guitar Center to pick up some shit, and he was like, dude. That's that's the drummer for Kill Your Idols, man. Like working the counter, man. I was like, really, like Rafe. no shit. And he was just like, yeah, that's Rafe, bro. My friends a drummer. Yeah, well, Rafe, 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 but <laughs> Rafe, 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 perfect for that too. <laughs> yeah, but he's yeah. a different animal, though. If uh, man, the the, the the what we left with from Guitar Center for, from his reign. Uh oh, oh, no Danny's more Danny. Gone. Oh shit, we only get taste. We only get bumps, dude. We want. Uh, we want. Big yeah. fucking lines of Diablo. Don't say bumps. Dude. No more, bu no bumps here. But I, I just remember. Yeah, he, maybe that's where. Yeah. Maybe that's where he's off to. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever, whatever, fucking takes things up a notch. I um... yeah. Rafe, Rafe held it down at Guitar Center for a long time, and uh, that was like our secret weapon, man. You, you know, like having a, having a guy in there on so many levels. Like, man, there, there was. Uh, I'll I'll leave some names out of it. <laughs> I shouldn't even really tell the story, but uh, s someone's gear got stolen. Um, and there was a fucking, you know, the law enforcement came up with uh, with the ding that, oh, this bass was sold to Guitar Center Queens. But the, the police wouldn't release any information to said person. So I remember walking over to the store in Union Square and being like, yo, Rafe, how do you log into the system and how do you figure this out 
And oh, this is a good this is a good story, Dan. I'm gonna take it back a minute. All right, so that's someone good. that we knows, uh, someone that we knows, house got broken into, and a couple of guitars got stolen. Right, and one one of the bases came up. The the police on Long Island. Oh, I know one, what one this of is. the bases I know came up. Thing. One of the bases came up as uh, being sold to Guitar Center on Northern Boulevard in Queens. And but he couldn't get any other info out of the cops yeah. or whatever. So I, I went to Rafe and I'm like, yo, is there like some sort of system? Like, c- can you look up sales in other stores? Yeah. And he just fucking walks straight up, walks away from a customer, walks yeah. up to one of the managers. And it's just like, yo, log me in. <laughs> and the dude's just staring at him. He's like, log, and he's like, log me into your shit. And the guy logs into the computer and he's just like, all right. And like pushes him away, and we punch it up, and boom! I get the guy's all of his info, his no, his number, address, name, the whole shit. And Rafe just like logs out and tells the guy that he could go back to his computer now. <laughs> so yeah, having That's a guy crazy. in Guitar Center is yeah. you get a lot more out of it than you think. You know, it's, you, <laughs> you no, I, know. I, 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 I think that that's it's always have a good uh, a person in somewhere that could you know to help you out. You know? so, yeah, it's like knowing a cop, anywhere. I guess, or something, or, or yeah. <laughs> someone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Help you. yeah. And who knows? Usually, it's just like a discount. But in this specific situation, we were able to get someone's name, which was highly valuable in, in the moment. <laughs> so yeah. So I mean, where I, where did you go? You just disappeared. Who me? Oh, where did you I, go? I tried, you, I tried yeah, to, you left. Like, I, I'll try to clean the, the, the lens and I touch something. Yo, listen, I, 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 I suck at all technology. I'm sorry about that. You know what I, mean? Uh, I mean, it's it changes. You know, we got to try to change with it. But, man, you yeah. know, no, no one's getting any younger. What, is that like Ray Charles on your shirt? Or It looks like Bill Cosby. No, with no, 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 no. Check this out. Yeah, look real closely. Unfuckwithable. That's Maya Lansky. Oh, shit. So, nice, yeah. dude. I, I was gonna say, man. I mean, any any time I see tough Jews, like I want to see more tough Jews. Like that needs to be rep. That needs to be represented because we just we just always look. You know what I'm saying? We're just <laughs> getting depicted like such pussies for like centuries and shit. I like to, that's why you know I like to see Necro and and fucking Meyer Lansky and uh, you know. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, dude. So like, um, so like, what's like, we should talk maybe a little bit about the new, uh, the new scar head, man, because, um, it's like, I mean, it's similar in different way in some ways, but, but kind of a departure in other ways. I don't know. Like, um, how are you feeling about it? Do you feel like this is like whole new realm or like, uh, or kind of just back to form? I, I, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's pure, like pure hardcore, like, Music, it's 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 like like, like a, usually people when they have bands, they do music. They, they when they get older, they guess they like kind of sell out. Very very like not sell out. You get softer, or the voice gets whacker. I think I'm like, I'm like almost like how Testament is harder now. And like 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 I listen to Testament now, and like that shit is hard. I mean like I can curse. Can I curse in there? Well, oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah shit, shit is hard. So, so like I think that I put out Starhead record that's like harder than anything. That I put out years, so I don't know how hard I could get because what I'm supposed to do, like hit, hit pots and pans and hit myself in the face, like <laughs> is that, that is hard enough for these people. <laughs> do, you know? But it's, I, I, I think it's melodic, it's hard, and then I got three features on it. I had Lars from Rancid, which was a brother of mine, I had a uh, Cat Swan from Show Me the Body, and I had uh, who else is on it? Uh, one, one more guy who, was, who else is on it? Oh. Yeah, Trevor McCoy. McCoy with your class heroes. So those three guys did it for did it for, did it. They're both three dudes who kill it in their music genre, and they're both three underground dudes who were like show me respect and uh I think different out of love, no money, just love. And, and that's that's what I'm about, bro. You mean show Hell yeah. Love. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's. I actually tried to get. Uh, I wrote to Julian to Cashwan to try to get him on this stream to do a four way thing. He, I, he yeah. didn't get back to me because I, I don't know him. But, but I've been like, show me the body is some of my favorite shit going on now. Yeah, like, it's, it, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's it, fucking it, crazy, it, man. He's like a, a like a modern day uh, Ian McKay kind. Of. He's like it's, yes, it's, it's weird. It's like you know the banjo and the hard It's 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 beyond. Also, the art, the art behind it, the whole artistic way 
Yes. And he, he views things and how they put things out. Like that's how, that's how a lot of people don't know about that, but about this. But Paul Delaney's a lot, a lot like that. The, the artistic value of the band and the, the, the what goes behind the the band, the, 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 the whole movement of the art and the, the visuals. That's, that's yes. a thing. Like right now, see me and you, we're, we're in the light. He's, Paul Delaney. He's in the dark, yeah. He's like Morpheus back there. Like, there's, there's, I'm in a dark Morpheus. With, a, with, a, with a human skull. Yeah. With a human skull and a Sunny Day real estate shirt. Yeah. Nice. But, but, but people don't understand that. Like, it, it, it's, it's uh, We come from the New York hardcore world, but we, we love other types of music and uh, do other things. I mean, like, it's 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 just crazy. But uh, the, the music definitely is something that's from the heart and uh a lot of people don't understand what a lot of sacrifice and a young I'm talking about sacrifices, but a lot of sacrifice and things that we we, we sacrifice for 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 this music and, and, and for showing uh, our fans all this love. But it it, it, it it it's not a big pain thing. You know, we it's a hard fucking thing. I like uh, I work uh, construction here and there and I do other stuff to make money but uh, this is something that I, I I need to do. I need I need this outlet. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people don't don't understand the thing of like doing like being a lifer in 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 music where it's like just like the vibe. Like we we're talking about working Guitar Center. I mean, and I've heard you talk about you know working construction where it's like you'll play you know festivals to like thousands of people and be recognized yeah. on the street someplace and you just go home and it's day job time. And it's like I think a lot of people don't get. That that yeah. really is how it is, even when you're like international hardcore superstar. You know, it's like it's still that's how it. You know, it's you still end up, uh, and that's that's part of the sacrifice, right? It's part of just making it, non-commercial music. You know, it, it's one day I'm uh, I'll, I'll be in a Times Square working at a sewer job, and uh, and all the guys my you know the guys I work with all crazy old. These dudes are 65 years old still working construction. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, I'll be working all sudden like that. Let me, let me take a picture of be a guy from Bulgaria. And I'll be like, yo, I told you I was doing Bulgaria, motherfucker. <laughs> <Right. laughs> so I was like, you, you, you motherfucking think I'm playing games out here? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I guess construction, though, that's a job where, like, you might want your co-workers to know about your band, whereas, like, other jobs, maybe you, like, want that shit to be, like, secret or whatever, you know? I, like, I, had, I, I, had, I had guys, I had, my, my, the guys I work with are, are pure, great people, but, you know, uh, like, dudes who lost everything, <laughs> they oh, lost their dreams, so they just got married, <laughs> and married, had kids, and fucking their wives are fucking, like, uh, uh, fucking some guy half their age and take Oof. the house. And they're living in a fucking a, a Q motor in like, with a hot plate. And then some guy. Like, <laughs> the I'm like, Yo, fucking man. brutal, dude. Brutal life. I, so it's not a hard the, the, the Q motor in. Brutal life disruption. It was like, I tell them all the time. I'm like, yo, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's I, you know, they, they, but they love it. They, they come to, they come to like big shows. They like, they, they think I'm crazy anyway because like, like, like a few times I'm like, like, like cops have came to like the worst like try to arrest me for some assault charges or something like that. And they'd be like, yo, the cops are here. I'm like, yo, don't tell them, tell them I'll, 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 I'll turn myself in. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be out two weeks late and still talking shit. <laughs> it catches yeah. up. It catches up. Yo, he, he, even the last Scar his show, I went to New York. There was two Jamaican dudes that rolled up. Prince. Prince. Uh, 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 I think they were Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, listen. The, the old man. I like, yo, the some... guy. He he hit some guy in the head with a two by four when I was in there when I was on tour. They told me it was a crazy story. He hit him in the head with a two by four. Like these are grown men. You mean know? <laughs> this is at a Scarhead show recently? No, or... this is at the construction site. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Just like for no reason, just like no, no, there's, re there's reason. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, just, they're crazy. They're crazy. Yeah, I, I went to see Scarhead, and these two older dudes rolled up, and you know, rough looking dudes, and they were like looking for him, and I'm like. What's this about? And like, oh, we work together. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he told me, he was like, oh, yeah, I work with them. I was like, all right. <laughs> so there's still trouble. I mean, still trouble still finds you and shit? Oh, God. My, my whole life's trouble. But besides that, but it's, it's, I'm trying my best just to, uh, what's it called? I'm trying my best just to live life and enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be 51 in December, 
Yeah. Uh, my thing is just I, I'm, I'm I'm trying to go I'm the next chapter of my life. I'm I'm, I'm trying to hopefully I, I'll be going out to uh, Milwaukee uh, by January and opening up a, 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 a Diablo's Den, a, a, a place where I, it's a, a tattoo shop, a, a barber shop. It's called it'll be called Diablo's Den, home of tattoos, cuts, music, and art. It'll be like record store and uh, graffiti art supplies. I mean, where, where where is this? He said Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Milwaukee Wisconsin. Yeah. What, why why Milwaukee? Because Milwaukee has a, a, a fucking leaving punk me. Scene, big metal scene, big uh, and they need uh, something something to to. Uh, it's in the Midwest. It's big, and they need uh, something uh, to center around the scene. So yeah. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing. It's only an hour and twenty minutes from Chicago. So yeah. and I, my and my. Forced my records to the label that signed me, signed me, uh, signed me in the Scarhead. Yeah, uh, basically is out of out of Milwaukee, and my oh, manager, okay. who's also my business partner in the New York Hardcore Streetwear clothing line I have, and all the other stuff, is also my tour manager. He's he's gonna be my uh, my partner in this. So yeah. basically, I might as well go out there and 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 try like live like the last let's say thirty years of my life. I, I I probably I probably die at seventy five or, or eighty. So seventy five, yeah. I think. So last twenty five, you know, whatever years of my life, I want to be, you know, not worry about fucking anything. I don't want to worry about fucking uh, seven hundred dollars in Milwaukee to get me three bedroom apartment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, wow, no, that's here, where it is. The Queens is uh, twenty twenty two hundred to get you one bedroom. You mean? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about that. All I need is internet. It's, it's, and and, uh, and uh, someone's gonna help me with the internet and uh, get on stuff. Uh, and just do everything do everything from 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 my house. I I I I'll, I'll have fun going to events and doing like what I do. You know what I mean I don't need to be out in clubs and shit no more. Okay, if I stay New York, I'm gonna protect myself and kill someone, and then I'll go to jail for five years and protect myself. And I can't. I don't want to do that. This is, dude, this is interesting, man, because so like, I mean, I'm from New York and I, and I moved to LA three years ago. I'm yeah. moving back next year. Dude, I can't, LA is just, no, no. I lived out but, there for eight years. I lived out Oh, I, really? I, wait, yeah, I moved to, well, I got signed by Travis Barker in 2005, I think, six. Right, in the 2000s. I, yeah. moved out to, I moved out to LA, LA. I went out there. I had $10,000 saved up and $40,000. He gave me, Travis Barker gave me $40,000 for an EP. Right. And, yeah. uh, he, and, and he gave me back my masters. That's how, that's how cool that guy is. All these other people will never give me shit back. I, I I'm still fighting for stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Mark gave me back my masters. You know what I mean? Yeah. I heard he's a good dude. I heard he's a real Barkley, real yo, real stand up guy. I want Travis Mark is one of the nicest people I've ever met. He's a great guy. Uh, I wish him luck with Kardashians. He's uh, you know he's he, he's the man. You know I mean I love that guy. And, and yeah. I always have his back. And he's a good friend. But was L.A. because I mean, did you? So you were into L.A. enough to be here for eight years, huh? Because I'm oh, just I, well, like, I met I met a, I met a girl, my 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 baby's mother out there. Got married, uh, had a kid. Uh, then she's like, well, let's go back to. Uh, she's like, thank thank you, thank thank you, MQ 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 in the house. So uh, my my MQ my indentured servant MQ. Uh, servants, MQ. <laughs> <laughs> Does he write graffiti for you? You're like, make a draw the A differently. You know, like fucking sending him on errands to get you paint and shit. So, so basically, no, I'm, he's probably getting him like a big giant sprite. <laughs> no, he got no. He made what is this? So, ginger ale, ginger ale. So, so listen, oh, cool. so, so listen. Uh, L.A. was great, but I, I also did a. Another record uh, on uh, Hellcat Records with uh, Tim Armstrong. I signed to him at the International Hardcore Superstar. Yeah, yeah I and remember Tim that. Tim Armstrong produced that record, and that and that record to me was was a, was a pivotal in my in like in my in my career. It was like a, I wanted to show people that what I really want to do is do like a fucking Billy Idol. You know what I mean? Like be like like a new way, like, like like hard but fucking cool and sexy. And yeah, that, that's why I am hard, cool, and sexy. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what that's what the, my next my next record I do with Danny Diablo is gonna be more of the uh, like more musical like more more like like I want to do like more new wave and got shit you mean but harder right? but, yes but, but, but that's, that's, that's I'm like you know how prayers is 
how Brad's is his stuff, but I tend to do more of like Billy Iowa's sort of stuff like that. All right, you're not you're not gonna go full Pete Steele, just like typo shit. Like, yeah, listen, just... Brad, that's rest in peace, Pete Steele. Like, like, like Pete Steele. When I was a little kid, I loved Carnivore. I loved Typo. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, but yeah, but I love Typo. You'd be like, surprised like, when he. When... When he starts DJing in a van, it's fucking. Last week was like Linda Ronstadt into Sinead O'Connor into Typo Negative. Oh yeah, into yeah, man, Eddie yeah, Money. Listen, like there's only, I'm, there's, only, there's only two types of music, good and bad. Yep, yep, exactly. I'm I'm not I'm not shocked that you're into new wave stuff because you had that uh, that Cindy Lauper cover or Prince technically yeah, Prince yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah, listen, first of all, Cindy Lauper. Paul Delaney, you got you got to talk about Cindy Lauper, Richmond Hill, baby. Oh, she's from Richmond Queens. Hill too. I thought you were from Woodhaven, is it? Yeah, right. Woodhaven. Yeah, she's from right over there. She's like, okay, yeah. I got a DVD. She's at the. Always on park. She's, at, she's always on park, actually. Oh, the park. Yeah, but she she went to Richmond High School. <laughs> so my mother worked at Richmond High Richmond Hill High School too. So. Yeah, no, she's a she's a legend, man. But yeah, so yeah, I'm not surprised you're into the new wave and 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 goth vibes and shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, even like even old Crown of Thorns. I mean, we were talking. It's funny because you 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 were saying like um you were saying like what I was already gonna ask. Like you you, you were talking about how you just are getting like harder and harder and shit with yeah. this stuff. Like and how yeah, it's like a lot of the time artists in general you think of someone as getting mellower with yeah. age. Whereas like we were talking about how Crown of Thorns was like kind of we didn't want to say emo. Like we didn't want to use the e word, but emotional. Oh, very, you know, it, it, it was. I think uh, Crown Thorn is very emotional band, in my very, opinion. All the lyrics, all those lyrics of the the, the, of, of the Trega Blues were done because when when uh, I was going through any anything that Crown Thorn is written about is, is through heart, heartache and pain. That's it. Heart, heartache, heartbreak, and pain. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it was like less. But it's kind of less like um. I don't know, less like street or something, or like the sort of like the concerns, right? You know, the, 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 when Crown Thorns, when we used to go play, people used to think we're like we were like a, I was a live a rapper in a live band the way we looked. So like, and the, I'm, the, I dress the way I dress because I'm from where I'm from. I speak the way I speak because where I'm, where I'm from, where I'm from. So when someone sees me, like, oh, you can't talk like that, you can't look like that. I was like, yo, listen, I, I've been dealing this with this my whole life. And so all these new bands are like, oh, we're we're we you know. People are, are like, I'm here. I look like this and this. It's it's all about how I uh how. Hold on, Ed, Ed, quiet, nigga. Quiet. I'm talking like a lot of lies. What the fuck you do? Go in the room. Go in that room. Oh God. So listen. So when when I, I speak the way I speak and the look, you look like, like like people. I pay my dues all over the world. No one's gonna tell me what I can do. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yeah. No, people have assumptions, man. People have preconceptions, you know, and like they don't realize the variety of what yeah. people are like bringing to the table, you know. No, it's like it's like like you never know. A lot of people they, they judge a book by its cover, and that's why a lot of people fail in life. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Never judge a book by its cover, especially when when I come from Queens and do like the dude next door. You're like, oh look that guy, he got glasses. Well, that that guy is a fucking serial killer. You know, or that guy that's. <laughs> Yo, know, it's, it's, it's Queens. You can be like one guy's a construction worker, next guy's a fucking crackhead. They're all the same block. That guy's a serial killer. That guy works for sanitation. You know what I mean like? But you never judge by my color. It's, 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 like, it's always the guy who talks the most. You know, talk, like, uh, like talk, like talks all shit. Bars, loot, uh, 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 bullies like that. Those are the dudes who fucking uh, have something to prove, and, and 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 they bump into dudes like me that that I'll prove it. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, you, you're always you're always the dude that after all these years, I realize like you, you have such an eclectic, not even a circle of friends, but just like the, the people you know or will occasionally bring around or associated with. Like there's never any judgment. You're friends with like total nerds, for lack of a better term. The, the, the roughest dudes, the richest dudes, the brokest dudes. They they are fucked up. They like like they 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 like 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 I I'll be with them and uh, uh like I'm be like with Joe Fado, Peter Green, Lito, you know like uh, uh this you know dudes that have passed away like Mike Cornetta, Kevin Red, uh it was just it just life is crazy but we all used to hang out together in the same neighborhoods in the same after hours 
and uh, we caught, even just, like, I've been after hours all of a be a cop at the door the after hours and, and be like, all of a sudden, come out there and I'll be looking out the door and be like, yo, Mike, what's up? And he'll be like, yo, <laughs> my boy, don't worry, let him come in. You know, he's like, it's, uh, it's, this life, man, it's like, we, like it's like, but you, you live this life. I chose to do music. Other guys chose to be a cop. Other guys chose to become sanitation. Other guy chose to be a librarian or a nurse or, or you know, it's, 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 it's a doctor or a, a psychiatrist. It's all, and everything, and one thing we have in common is they listen to the same music. You know, they listen to my music. And, uh, and, and, or they're from the neighborhood. They don't listen to my music, but they're proud that I got out of the fucking neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. But, I mean, do you ever yeah, have, you know like, that there's sorry, something. Sorry. Oh no, I no, I always get asked a lot in in like Black Anvil interviews and stuff. I'll get asked a question like, you know, what this the the black metal scene or what bands are we friends with or this. I get asked a lot of questions about the scene, and I I don't always have the answer for that that people are looking for. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I didn't just start this band to make new friends. Like, my my friends are this guy. <laughs> Sorry, so, you know, that. like, and I'm not going to change. Yeah, I know. It's a, a, a curse. And, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I've, I've, I've never wanted to, like, shift circles and try to be something else. It's like, no, we're going to do this, but these are our people. You know, he sings on our new record, too. I know? saw that and on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. One of the most obscure things, you know, but it, it makes more sense than, you know, having someone that I don't know or give a fuck for just because he's in a cool band, you know? Yeah. So it just files into the whole, you know, just not forgetting who you are or where you're from ever. Yeah. Spectrum. Yeah. I mean, yeah. For, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of interested for both, both you guys, since you have gone in different like directions that like for you, it's like the same direction. Cause it's just real for like who you are, but then it's like the sound, you know, there've been different sounds like going to black metal. Like, I mean, do you, do you have any fans like Paul, like, do you have any fans that are or, like people that are really fans of black anvil, but like, don't even really know kill your idols or like or like danny like do you have any yeah. um you know do you have, are there people who like love scarhead but like don't really even fuck with crown of thorns or people who fuck with the solo stuff but like don't even know like you know what i'm saying like do you, do you ever have fan like differences like that and stuff all, all, all the time I, I i'm pretty sure that uh what's it what's it called up i i understand Ah, uh, you're breaking up a little bit, but is it good right now? Uh, yeah, it's a little better. Yeah, you hear me? Yep, yeah. All right. So a lot of people I, I know, uh, they they like the the, the hip hop stuff, but they don't know I do hardcore. So it's really weird when they when, when I, I I'm like, where the hell were you? But they're younger kids. When I when I, I got signed to Suburban Noise, uh, it, it opened up a whole world. Of, of new fans and, and suburban noise fans went down with the cotton mount kings and all stuff like that that's a whole different world for me i like jamie right. Avery actually got me signed to kevin zingo on suburban noise records and he was like oh sign these acts and and jamie hey Avery... ah sounds cutting out the sound language <laughs> the sounds cutting out a little bit but uh Ah, he's cutting out a little bit more. But yeah, Isaac was saying. Yeah, he was saying how um how uh, Jamie from Hatebreed got him signed to uh, Suburban Noise. Um, let me see. You there? I mean, it's the phone just there sometimes is a and little. And like that. No, this is this is man. It's all he's, good. He's dude. probably touching it, touching it all crazy. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. You know, I, I could continue the conversation. Yeah, while yeah, go for that it. Out. I it, most of the people that 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 like kill your idols and or no more black for example didn't give a fuck oh, a, about me doing black anvil you know it was just it's just not the music for those people you know so there wasn't much crossover the only crossover is like i i would say friends that just care about what i was doing yeah you know uh and although the the an interesting crossover the singer of bolzer was uh Oh, was on a Spotify run and he hit me up randomly and was just like, he's like, so I'm listening to war on women. Don't judge me. He's like, and I stumble upon yeah. no more black and I'm listening to it. And upon investigation, he's like, you're in the promo photos. He's like, this is fucking great. I had no idea. And you know, that was a, a moment where it was pretty unexpected, but also cool that that guy just on a Sunday is 
going into it like a pop punk dive on Spotify, you know? Right, right, right. I mean, he's full of surprises. I love Bolzer, man. That stuff is just I do light, too. lightning, dude. It's crazy. Um, yeah, man. People, you never know what people are into. Um, but yeah, but 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 Isaac, you were saying like yeah, like there are people who know you from the rap from the rap world and and not so much from Scarhead, huh? That's that's it's yeah. it's, 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 it's it's totally insane. Like 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 suburban noise records got me with a cat mouth case. They're all about weed and all stuff. And the kids were like Daddy X from Cat Kings was a was a big punk rock guy. He's the one that created the whole come out thing. And he was like, he dressed like a punk rocker. It was crazy. Like, he was like, really, it was like almost like a juggalo mix of punk rocker, but he's an old school punk rocker. And I was like, we became friends. You know what I mean? So, like, then Kevin Zinger was like, oh, we became, Kevin Zinger for oh, Suburban Noise is so cool. He just signed uh, the band I, I, that I was managing, Concrete Dream. They signed to Suburban Noise. Uh, so, I'm just happy that I could. Be help out other other people in music and don't fuck it up like how I did. You mean so? <laughs> you fucked it up. I don't. I don't. Uh, I fucked it. Up. It's, it's, it's 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 I I'm happy in my career, but I wish that that I had someone. I wish I had a manager. Like when I first started, you mean know like really help me out? You know what I mean I wish like like like, like Jamie Jasko or, or the DRP or Don Cap. You know these are dudes I worked with were, were there. From the beginning, and help folk help help me uh, focus more on the music and instead uh, of my crazy fucking life. You mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah. like, well, I I think in 2022, going into 2023, I I think the fact that you, Mike DeJean and Demi are playing music again is yeah. uh, I I think about That's the possibilities deep. with this, and you know, I, I like to envision how this could go not in a controlling way but just no, from no. an outside perspective of like I, I i care about music in general and what i would like to see from a band so how could crown of thorns perform in a way where it's just top of the mountain you know yeah. and I, the fact the fact that you know like we were saying earlier that this band does connect with the youth is is huge and it's got to be a bit of a strategy but you know i i think a, a, a somewhat reactivated, reborn Crown of Thorns with the original lineup, Sans bass player, is uh, <laughs> is going to do something, you know? Yeah, you know, I, I guess I got something even better. You know what I mean? I, I you, know, you saw I posted the Celtic Frost book and new stuff, right? The the, the reissues and the, all, all that stuff. You saw that? And, 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 and I, yep. I'm not, I'm, I, I love vinyl, but I'm not an old vinyl guy. But they're going to do it. They had to do it also CDs. So what I'm thinking about is the next Crown Thorns, Crown Thorns stuff comes out. Once that comes out, do a whole crazy box set. All, because I did the other two songs with, with Prince Nine, where there's nothing but tragedy. But all three, just like, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool. There's something like that. People but will buy it, that, man. People, people will pay people money for that. It. Make, it, make it look like the, the art look, make it look insane. You know what I mean? You know, the more expensive you make it, the more people are going to buy it. Because yeah, yeah. it's going to be, I, I, like, I want, like, special. I want, like, I want purple, marble, and yellows, and stuff like that. You know? All that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, It seems like, I mean, it, young kids today, this might be a wrong impression, but, like, it seems to me like young kids today are, like, more open to listening to music by 50-year-old dudes than, like, I was when I was, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like, like I see, like, I hear kids talking about classic bands, and they're not like, oh, yeah, this old, these old guys, I listen, they, they kind of view, there's, a, there is, I think, more openness. Maybe it's because of the you, internet, you know? You know, you know what's crazy? That, that I, 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 like, I always, I always, like, my, 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 my lady and I always was always used to talk about old, old, and I'm, I'm a young, when people meet me, they think I'm, like, like 38, or something, I'm, I'm gonna be 51 years old, but, yeah. That when I I was like like when you hit fifty you're like fuck I'm half a century old bro you know what I mean like like I'm fucking old like they see the <laughs> NWAC uh, uh, the, the commercials and shit like oh you're fifty something fifty five you can get fucking like half of a breakfast half of a breakfast <laughs> and I, I'm like fuck you motherfucker so so I bugged the fuck out but, but so is but, this but, why you always want to go to Denny's <laughs> yes <laughs> no but. On this tour, watch this is why he's always paying at Denny's. That's why you're like, ah, dinner's on me because you get the fuck <laughs> my car. I got my car. I got my car. Yeah, yeah. I, but I, but the thing is, on this tour, watching Vinny Stigma, who is 66 years old, 
And I'm like, you know, he's playing every day, and he has a young girlfriend, and he's fucking, he doesn't give a fuck. He's just happy. He's, not, he's happy all the time, funny. And I'm like, that's how you got to be in life. You got to be like that guy. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'm sure he has a lot of fucking horrible things in life, but Vinny keeps going, bro. And, I, and that's and, and I'm like I'm like yo bro, this dude is fucking 16, 16 years older than me, right? Yeah, that's he, yeah. He's he's older than I thought actually, because he yeah I guess he's older than the other AF dudes, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he was yeah. already already like late twenties, man. Maybe that's why he brings that like like classic rock. He's got a little bit of that like classic he, rock he was, he element was, with his playing, you know. He went to Woodstock. He was in Woodstock. Jesus, dude, that's, 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 that's crazy. Dude, that's that's a that's a continuum, man. That's sick. Yeah, I mean, like Benny uh, Stigma at Woodstock. Yeah, can you imagine? he's just like making fun of the fucking yo, yo, right now, it's next right, level. Yo, no, right now I'm, I'm thinking my my mind, my 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 my, my brain right now is doing a fucking solo album, Vinny Vinny Stigma at Woodstock, and <laughs> go go Woodstock and, 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 and like uh, the Bad Brains uh, studio and have him do all kiss acoustic and lots of front songs. Dude. <laughs> live at Woodstock. Live at Woodstock. <laughs> yeah, dude. Peace and love and whatever. And, love. and brass knuckles. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a, I love G-O-E, how, how, how did you get into – what's the first hardcore band you heard? Who? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I, – I, I, I got into hardcore – the first show I went to, I remember. Well, I what know, was that? First, I, I went. I went to a, my first hardcore show with a free five, like free rider, free five, okay. uh, Hush for sports, uh, Sasha Jenkins, Hush, Sasha Jenkins, uh, you know my boy Sasha, and uh, uh, and uh, and a chapter for Burn. Uh, where we went to go see uh, 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 I think uh, Raw Raw was uh, Raw Deal was playing, you know? So that was in '87, yeah. You know? So that's my first thing, CBGBs. So that's yeah. cool. But my first punk band, the first thing I ever heard, I guess, this is crazy. It has to be the Ramones. Being Rockaway Beach Queens and shit like that. Like when you were a kid, rock, rock, rock. And I remember going going to the beach with my family and on the radio, Rockaway Beach. I'd be like, oh, and I didn't know what, I thought, I thought it was like classic rock. It's like uh, that song. And I told you that song from the, uh, Okay. There was a movie called Up the Academy. It was uh, Daddy's All Right, Mommy's All yeah, Right. Yeah, Cheap Trick. Yeah, yeah. Cheap that Trick. Was. That's my karaoke that, one, yeah. Yo, that, 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 that's, that's mad punk. Then when you see, I saw I saw Cheap Trick at a Dallas house, and I was like watching the guitar player. It was, he was total Mitch, Mitch bites his own shit. That was, he looks like Mitch. <laughs> like, Daddy's All Right. That guy looked all crazy. Like, he's a big guy, too. I was like, yo. That dude was punk rock, you know? So, so you were into punk rock. You know, before Todd, Todd Youth was yeah. doing cheap, cheap trick stuff. I, I, I heard about that. Sorry, I got, <laughs> I got, I got a lag. So part, part of me. Oh, okay, no, we've all got the lag know. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. That, that's cool. But you, you know what? The, like dudes like that, the innovators, and uh, I, 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 cheap trick is, is like classic rock, but that song is mad punk rock. Yeah, it's almost like oi. It almost yeah, has like yeah. the oi vibe, and, and right? Punk like, rock. and you know, a song. The first song I ever, the first two songs I'll make, I'll make you laugh right now, Paul. The two songs I ever learned to sing. Well, the first song was uh, the "I Was Made for Love You" from Kiss. Kiss. And, oh, okay, and, yeah. You know, I, I the whole song. And I was a little kid. Whenever I'm, I'm all, I'm, I'm half Puerto Rican, so I used to go to the, uh, the Christmas party. My my family in Harlem. My my mother my mother's Spanish Harlem, but East River houses. So every Christmas we we used to go over there, and uh, and I remember everyone dancing to, to the K Tell's Gold Record, the K Tell fucking thing, and I was made for love you go on, and I used to sing Beth, the song Beth. So that, I would sing those songs when I was kids when I was a kid. So you know. Weird, well, that's that's some weird shit. But but as a, as me by myself in a room singing Beth and fucking I was made for loving you. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's the bonus track on the, on the next Crown of Thorns EP. Yeah. No, I Beth. would love to do a Beth cover. That's cool though. When, when, it's cool though when you look at your your own shit. You know, like when you're really young and it's like it does make sense. Like the continuum, like 
you know, like it's it's like someone might think that doesn't make sense, but it's like you can feel like how it's all, you know, like you said, like yeah, like cheap trick, like is basically Scarhead, like in a way, like oh yeah, you know, it's like not different to you. You know what? What really hit me too that I didn't know was a bad madness. Our house, our house in the middle of the street. You know, that's punk. That's like ska fucking punk. You know, the oi band. You know. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 it's, man. It's crazy. I didn't know, but I knew. Right? So right, 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 right. I mean, I, we, I, you know, when it comes to New York hardcore, though, it's it seems like metal and rap, like that, being integrated over time. Well, I, I like think that, I, that's where New York was like, we're on some different shit. Like now, I think, or, I, I like, think like bands, bands like Underdog really, really hit that back in the day, right? I was forgetting about Underdog, man. That's I yes, I gotta go. I gotta go back and re- and refresh on that. And Crumb you know? Suckers, you know, Crumb oh, Suckers. Crumb even Killing Time is like more metallic. This is when like pe- guys and bands actually start know how to play their instruments. Too. Oh, Leeway, Leeway, and Crumb Suckers. Leeway and Killing Time, right? I mean, yeah, I think my, one Leeway, of my favorites Leeway, is yeah. Crumb Suckers. Are the three bands that dudes well, and they had they had something that you know, the thing that New York had, Hardcore has that other like California doesn't have. Boston doesn't have. I'll talk to shit right now. It's called <laughs> it's called groove. That means we yes. Had, every band, every band was had a Puerto Rican in the band. Crumb Suckers that dude was Puerto Rican, the black guy, Puerto Rican guy. You know, it's, it's, even uh, like, like Killing Time, the like, Italian. You know I mean it's like people have like, groove and, and, and finesse and style. You know I mean? Dude, it's Italian people, it's, it's the Latin flavor. Dude, I, living out in California, I'm just like, where are the Italians and where are the Puerto Ricans? Like, what is going on here? It's no offense to Mexicans, but it's just like, dude, where I like, I'm used to seeing and having Puerto Ricans around me. But dude, what, what you're saying, it, you're saying all this shit. I was like, already, I was like, I wanted to bring up like just what, like the groove, the groove element of New York hardcore. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm making, I'm making this thing. It's not like a serious movie or anything, but just on my YouTube channel, I do these little videos, like this, like educational shit for the kids. So like, I would do like, I want to do like a short, like, crash course in new york hardcore for people who don't know anything about it really yeah and that that was my main point where i was like comparing like earth crisis to Madball, and i was just like yeah. listen to these grooves like listen to how like earth crisis it's brutal but it doesn't have that groove it doesn't have <laughs> the <laughs> swing <laughs> the <laughs> finesse it doesn't have that mackie that that, that mackie kind of like yeah, innovated that bounce bad brains like the mackie play it's, it's a chromax chromax most hardest shit in the world asia coral that's Mackie. That yeah, yeah. The Iceman. Yes, yes. It's it's different. It 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 bounces, man. Will Shepler too. I mean, these these drummers they innovate, you know. Yo, it's Hoya. If you listen to Madball, when Hoya got Madball, that like me and Craig from Craig Craig had Craig Story said when I hear a Madball riff, I call it Corona Groove Metal. Corona. <laughs> Corona Queens and then in the pocket, like 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 all these bands, like Terra, all these bands hate me uh, hard, but it's, it, but you can tell it's white guys, right? But when you hit Mad Boy, you know it's a Spanish guy. You like you know what's going on. It's, I'm, I'm just saying, and I love Terra, Scott Vogel, I love you. I love hate me, Jamie Johnson, I love you. And I, I, I love you know, Hoyer and I love Freddie. I love you. I mean, like, like all great bands, but to me, the New York shit has more heart and more like my heart. I'm talking about heartfelt music. Like, it's it, it's it's a beat. It's a beat. You know what I mean? so, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, I I could even pick. I could almost even pick apart like what borrows people from. Like there, there's one riff in in the Crown of Thorns set. It's in uh, Feelings. Yeah. Uh, I know he is. When when the fa- when the fast part hits, it's like da na 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 na. When it comes back the second time, halftime, yeah. Dimmy just breaks it down. It's so yeah, Queens, Dimmy, man. The, 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 and I told him that Dimmy's another Queens drummer. Like Still Suit has is a really Still unique suit. band. I, don't I know haven't. We're we're, we're drumming. Yeah, was... Drum timing, but uh, but it, it, you tell Dimmy, you'll be you look at Dimmy first of all. I I think Dimmy. Is a vampire, but he doesn't tell us because he still looks the same. He he sleeps like a vampire. He does. <laughs> he does. 
Dude, no. I haven't heard of Still so you Suit know in still years, suit. man. Well, I, mean, I saw them in like '95 yeah. or something with like Bad Trip and like those those bands and stuff. Because yeah, that was kind of... I don't, I don't know the Marco Siega. Because because you know, yeah, that was a... yeah. Because I mean that was how... I grew up with I grew up with Marco Siega. Oh, okay, all right. Because I didn't know these guys, but this is how I got into New York hardcore was from that kind of post hardcore that that scene, yeah. and it was Marcos. And I didn't I didn't know Marcos, but Marcos was the babysitter of my friend. He like looked after my friend Max. Wait, wait, here's, wait, here's, wait here's something fucking crazy. But I'm gonna you guys bug you fuck out right now. Right. Marcos Siega, father, played for the Cosmos. No shit. But, okay. He also coached the Cosmos. He was also he won the fucking the, the national uh, soccer champion. He played for Brazil. So he was his father was a played with Pele. Pele came to my Pele Marco Sierra lived one block from me and Pele came to my, my block because he's friends with Marco Siega. He played in the Cosmos too. He, he brought him he brought him to the Cosmos. So Marco Siega, his whole family, Anthony Siega, they're all soccer players, they're all yeah. from Jackson Heights. So but he it's it, that's so no one even knew he grew up. He grew up right by my Burger King on Northern Boulevard, right there. I saw a six. I live on six. I, I grew up on Six Nine Street. He grew up on Six Eight Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Like, people don't know that. Right? Yeah, you know? no, not at all. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't know him personally, but he was one of these, like, you know, my friend Max. He was like, oh, like Marcos. He got me into hardcore, and now my and he became Max, a, he, got me he, into, he yeah. became a, a big director. He's oh, is that director. is that the deal? Yeah, he directed the. I, uh, I can't wait one minute more sim video. Oh right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He did a alien air that. bomb. He did a whole bunch of a whole bunch. Of, but he's now he's doing movies. Good for him. That's big shit. Yeah, but that was um. But that was when I saw uh, saw Still Suit. But I I didn't know who was in that band actually. I just remember thinking they were really cool. Yeah, Jimmy Jimmy from Crown of Thorns. And, and Julian Julian. Oh, all and, right. And Julian too. The kid Julian. He he grew up. Julian too. Manny went, on bass. Went to school with my uh, with my sister. And that's how the world is, okay? Yeah. And Julian's from Ozone Park, too. Yeah, my sister, my sister. Well, we moved to Woodhaven, so my sister went to Lane with Julian. Yeah. Oh, you get it's kind of muffled the sound now. Oh, now okay. it's, 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 Yeah, oh, there you go. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Now you're, yeah. Better, what, what, yeah. What's yeah, yeah, there you go. doing? What, what is it about Queens, though? Like, why is it, like, just the history? I mean, just as far as hardcore, it's, like, so much from Queens even yeah. though so mostly it was going on, at well, least in the early days, on the Lower East Side, but it's all the bands are from Queens, you know. Well, I'll tell you right now, Queens is the mecca of the world, and the people don't know that, but it is. It's a, you name, name, I'll I'm, I'm, I'm just name some names out here right now from Queens. I'll just say uh, uh, Paul Simon, uh, oh, yeah. Paul Stanley, uh, Run DMC, yeah. Christopher Walken, Cindy Lapa. Dude, like, Fran on, Drescher, man. I don't know. She, uh, Fran Drescher. We've been talking about her the whole tour. <laughs> Yo, everyone from Queens. Yeah, more than yeah, way more than Brooklyn and hardcore, I guess. Yeah. It's funny because Biohazard introduced like the mainstream world to hardcore, but they were Brooklyn. But like, actually, it was really Queens was way more the the, the, yeah, the yeah, source. Yeah, you know, yeah, Queens, uh, Chili Time, Queens. Token uh, entry, gorilla biscuits. Token entry, gorilla biscuits. Oh, uh, all of them. The queens, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking um, yeah. I mean, these bands, like so, so much of the stuff was I don't know that '90s. That was like a scene I feel like got kind of underrated now, like Bad Trip and Still Suit and that that. I feel like it was it's like post hardcore. You know I mean, it was like a post, a post hardcore, hardcore, right? It, it doesn't. It's like people who were there, like like it and remember. It, but even, it, even, it, even Walter, who came from Ohio, went, went moved to, to Long Island City. You know what I mean, quicksand, Queens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I love no quicksand. That's how. Yeah, that got me into all this. Yeah, but um, but man, it, but then now it's like stuff that overlaps with black metal now. Or like, does it overlap? Like that's well, th yeah. This is something I wanted to ask. I don't know if I'm changing topic, but just as far as like hardcore, like bleeding out into other shit that's like not hardcore, or like, is it hardcore? Or like, who cares? Blah blah blah. You know, like, I mean, do you fuck with black metal much, Isaac? Uh, I know you, you like you, death metal and stuff. I, I like, I, I, I like, like, like the most. I, I like Venom, Hellhammer, fucking stuff like that. You mean like uh, Trip the God, the new stuff you know, from Celtic Frost things? Uh, yeah, uh, but it's. It, it, I listen to I've been listening to the the, the, the Black Anvil stuff. I, I love I, I love 
I love different things, music. Uh, a lot, a, a lot of like New York hardcore people are into like like different kinds of music, but also it's like it's New York City. It's, it's always like that. Like a lot of people and like a lot of graffiti's into uh, all that stuff. A lot of graffiti artists, yeah, are in all these bands that do, do music. It's, it's a street thing, you know. What I mean? So it's so that's why how, how I look at it. You know what I mean so like uh, it's and I, when you when, a lot of things in L.A. too. When I, I bumped, went went to L.A. saw all these bands. A lot of these bands, like some of these people, are like, oh, that guy. It'd be like, the, like a, a, a guy you wouldn't think, but the guy grew up in a neighborhood, and that neighborhood is a gang, and he's from that gang. So you would wait. That guy's from a gang. Yeah, he had to be. He's from that neighborhood. You know what I mean? So, so you, like I said, don't judge a book by a cover. So if you see a little, a little Asian guy who grew up from L.A., you're like fuck you, know, I'm like that guy, whoever, he, he might be from a fucking big gang. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, yeah, watch yourself. Yeah. You know, and. And there's a, and, and speaking of crossover with black metal hardcore, you know, uh, Marduk, we were out with Marduk for a week oh, and they had some like flight issue and they had to like cancel, you know, they were supposed to fly to Mexico. It didn't happen. So they just stayed in Brooklyn with us for a couple of days before they flew home. And Morgan and Devo stayed at my house. And, you know, the second they walked in, I had like an AF poster on a wall and Morgan was just like, oh, yeah, I know Todd Youth from when he was in Danzig. And automatically got into hardcore, you know, talking about hardcore with me and like bands that he loved. And it's the same, like I've had conversations with Fenris, you know, Youth of Today, Crumb Suckers, he loves all the shit, super into hardcore. And, you know, it's funny, the fans are the ones that are like, you know, think it's so taboo and you're not cool if you listen to hardcore or punk or anything. But even like Watain, man, Matt, when I filled in for Madball, we played uh, a festival at Watain with Dissection, actually. Uh, and I oh, met those shit. guys briefly and whatever. When Watain came around and played New York for the first time, I made eyes with the dude who was the old guitar player. And I was like, we met. And he's like, ah, oh, Madball. And I'm like, they know. <laughs> Madball. You know? Like, it's... <laughs> yeah. He's like, ah, oh, Madball. What's up, man? I was like, hey, what's going on? It's like, see you guys. You know, like the, <laughs> the realms do cross because even like with the first wave of, you know, I've been saying this a, a lot recently in all the press I'm doing, but. I, I do see a connection between, let's say, the second wave of black metal or whatever, and black metal in general, and New York hardcore, because it's passionate, it's violent, it's extreme, you know, different outcomes, different objectives, but overall, it's just a very aggressive and passionate form of music, you know? Hell yeah, man. I mean, there's definitely, like, New York death metal. I mean, not black metal, but death metal, like, the classic... I mean, my favorite death metal is New York death. We definitely like uh, suffocation, like immolation, suffocation. probably most of all. And it's like those bands totally have a New York hardcore. I mean, I don't know if they get it from New York hardcore or if it's just arriving at the same thing. But that groove, you oh, know, yeah. that, yeah, that yeah, groove. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, immolation guys grew up with the guys from Breakdown and Killing Time. Okay. You, you know, like they're all same circle of friends and those guys go out to each other's shows still. You know, yeah. Dan Loker is very connected to That's the whole scene. Dan Loker. Yeah. But there's a lot less New York black metal, though, right? I mean, isn't that kind of like, is Black Anvil kind of one of the few, like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, who's flying the flag for, like, NYBM? Like, I, I don't know. And again, it, <laughs> it might sound com like it's coming from a cocky place, but oh, do it. you got people that moved here from, from wherever and. I'm going to say nobody. I'm going to say nobody. And yeah. I, I don't really care to associate with anyone that that's from here doing that shit because there's no scene and there's no brotherhood there. And it's just hip, you know, even the bands that that want to come off like they're avant garde. I, I see them at the at the hip bars and I see them at the cool establishments in passing. and. <laughs> You know, I, I I know what everyone did last summer, sort of. Thing. <laughs> oh man, no. I, man, oh. I might I might know who you're talking about. I'm glad you're not dropping names and shit. This we we. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, you, you might be talking about people who I'm kind of, I, I am actually kind of down with, but I know, I think I know, I know what you mean. You know, yeah. <laughs> I have, yeah. We'll connect after that. There's one, gonna... <laughs> one specific band and whatever. I I think they're a good band, but you know, there's just some shit out there that. I don't know. 
just I, I don't get the pretentiousness in a way. Like I, I understand being an elitist and this, that, and the other thing, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop. Right, well, yeah, no people. If you got to be honest about what you did last summer, right? Because someone's yeah. gonna know. Someone's yeah, gonna know yeah. what you did. And then they're gonna call you out and shit. But I, uh, which, which is that, why yeah. th- this guy w- means more to me. The people I grew up with will always mean more to me than what should mean more to me, because it looks cooler on paper, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, I'm not no, gonna go it. hang out here with these people because I'm doing black metal now. Or be- I've always loved metal and all, all forms of heavy metal, and and the progression for us to get here with this band and what inspired us doesn't have anything to do with like a social scene, you know, like yeah, I, we, I, 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 I can I, do what I do. And outside of work, this is, this guy's my brother. Uh Oh, you okay. got to hide, we're hiding his face. I'm the tiger king. The lion king, I'm the tiger king. Oh, nice. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There go, that's a good Yeah, background. That's some Puerto Rican shit. That's Puerto Rican shit. <laughs> is tigers a Puerto Rican thing? Uh, well, that, 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 that blanket is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. The loudness of that blanket is, yeah, for sure. It was funny. I was, I was, uh, I watched some some interview with you, uh, Danny, that were like from maybe a year ago or something, where you were talking about L.A. and you were you were talking about how someone out there like didn't know what a Puerto Rican flag was. They were like, oh, they, 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 they thought it was a Texas flag. They thought it was a Texas flag. I was like, oh man, that's what I'm dealing with out here, man. This is what I'm it, 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 people people. It's a, it, it, it's it's very segregated out there, so. Like, it, it, like you, you would think in uh, in L.A., people are like, oh shit, racist, people are racist, people in New York City aren't racist, bro. They just make fun of each other and jokes, whatever. It's out of Thank people you. In L.A. are racist. Uh, the Mexicans hate the blacks. Yo, know, I'm talking about more, worse than uh, Guidos and Howard Beach hate blacks. But it's it's the it's the it's it's it's, 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 it's horrible. Like it's they, true. It's, it's crazy. Like I live in a neighborhood. Pico Union, it was all Mexican. And if any of my black friends came over, they did not want to come out of the car. They'd be like, yo, I'm not coming out of the car. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy out there. You know, it's, it's, but that's how it is. Because it's a gang culture. You know what I mean? So people don't say, like, oh, you can't do that. I'm like, yo, listen, you're locked up. Especially you people, look, you're locked up, you're a white guy. And you're locked up in LA. You're, you're going down with Ary- Arians. That's, that's how it is. And they're, 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 you know what I mean? So, and people are like, I would never do it. You, you, you can't say that until you're there. I mean, I know a whole bunch of dudes, uh, white dudes are cool with me. And like, yo, what up, Danny? Hug me. Have t- t- racist tattoos. And they go, I got that in prison. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, so yeah, it's a yeah. It's different world. So uh, it's like, once they're out, they, they change their lives. But when they're in, you got to do what you have to do to survive. That's, how That's crazy. Man. You know, we, we played L.A. with we played LA with Marduk on that run. And a friend of mine came out to, to hang at the show. He's a Mexican dude from, from Long Beach. Yeah. Uh, or was living in Long Beach, but might have been from Santa Cruz, whatever. He was. Uh, he, he worked with that band Good Riddance for years. And there was, uh, you, you know, predominantly Mexican crowd, and everyone was rocking NSBM shit, Moonblood, this, that, the other thing. And yeah, fucking I asked man. him, I'm like, yo, everyone here is rocking all this shit. And, he, and he's holding his kid, and he's like, it's because they hate black people. <laughs> like, That's the truth. <laughs> I mean, a general statement, you know. Yeah, I'm Marduk sure is not, uh, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. And people don't no, say they're that. Fa- they're people, far from racist. Oh, people, they're not. People talk all this. No, shit Marduk is very they don't say not like, racist. It, like, like it's it, it's like I'm Puerto Rican and Jewish. I'm I'm I'm, I'm Jewish. I was born Muslim. I'm Jewish, and I'm, 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 I'm proud of my Puerto Rican heritage. And uh, I speak the way I speak. And some people are like we well, can't speak like that. Like, the fuck you tell me you can't speak like that. Like and. It's just so crazy. Like the young kids, they like, oh, you can't. I'm like, yo, like you kids have a lot of learn. Like you, it, it's lost because a lot, a lot of people have never. There's one thing these young kids have that a lot of people don't understand. They don't have. They they talk talk on the computer. This thing. So when they get punched in the face, it's like the whole world crumbles. Like, oh my god. <laughs> to, to me, to me, if you do something that you know, disrespect me, everything. But I come for something that. I know that I will be bailed out in fucking in a day or two, so I don't care. So if if if, if, if something's gonna cost me five thousand dollars, and then you're, you're talking shit, I'm gonna punch you in the face and I'll make my five thousand dollars worth it. I'm gonna break your shit. You're gonna walk. Everyone in the world's gonna know what you have to do. I might have to pay. Might have to do fucking six months, remember, But I'll be happy in jail six months knowing that I broke your shit. 
They want to come out of jail. I'm with with an Aryan Nation tattoo. <laughs> just to add on every yeah, just to just confuse <laughs> confuse people even more. Confuse, confuse people, no, no. no, the guy the, you hear some crazy? The guy from from the, the, the head dude from the, the back in the day for the Aryan Brotherhood, the the Hulk was Jewish. Yeah, big some big star day by the thing. Wait, How one of the guys who Wait, one of the guys who started Aryan Nation. One of the head dudes called the Hulk something. They call him the Hulk. You look at Google's guy. The Hulk from Aryan Brother. The fuck. Dude, so How like crazy is that? that that's the craziest thing I've ever heard on this fucking podcast so far, dude. All, <laughs> it's all about gang and money. That's all about. It's about money and gang. It's like Chappelle gang, show gang, shit. Gang. Yeah, it is, dude. It is. I mean, so, but, but, so, like, he just formed it just so that white people in general could just have a have a, have a way to to. The jail, if it's if, 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 if the Aryan Brotherhood and the Mexican Mafia against everyone, they're, and they're together, they they they, they deal with each other. So okay, so, all right. So, it's just how life is, man. Life is life is different when you go like somewhere like you, like that's why people talk all this shit. They don't know what the world's about. You mean? Know? Yeah. You know, so it's it, I. I come from a different world. Like, like, like I'm a DM, I'm a DMS guy, and uh, we're we're all all races, all creeds, religions. We're all but we're all black and blue. You know what I mean, so even when my brother's wrong, I gotta take his back and because he's my brother. You know what I mean? I might pull like Paul does something and, and, and he's wrong, but we're in the bar and, and, and he, he's doing something. I for who I am, like. I gotta do. I, I gotta take care of Paul. You know I mean? Yeah, stand Make up for him and then talk to him about it later. Apologize later. Yep. Yeah. 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 And, 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 but now I'll tell Paul, yo, I'm fucked up. You know I mean, I'll pull me to the side. Don't ever fuck me again. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I'll be between us. And, the, and but the whole world, have to, we'll see that I got his back no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. That's real friendship, that's right? Why, you stand stand that's up. That's right. And, 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 and do music and nothing to do with anything. Hey, hey, this, this, that's, that's why. That's why. That's that's my life. You know, that's it. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that. That's a, it's it, it, that's why it's a, it's hard to to have a, a regular relationship. It's hard to do because I'm dealing with four hundred to five hundred other people I got to deal with. You know, every day. You know, every, everyone has a problem. Everyone has a problem. And well, this guy's fucking. This guy's ex girlfriend. This guy. Oh, this guy's money. I got to sit down and be like, oh, you, know, you can't do that. You do that. What I'm saying. So it's just always stuff in the back. Around that affects my life. So when when I fuck wild out, do something, it's it's not for no reason. It's always for a reason. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You think for no reason. I look for no reason, but it's all fucking right here and done for a reason. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even really think of that. Like, I didn't really know that. Like, people coming to you, you have to solve a lot of disputes that that are like other it's people's fuck stuff, fuck. and you you have to kind of weigh in on on it's stuff. Like, like it's, it's it's something like something I chose. I I chose this. So, you know, like, 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 like I, I could have walked away from this a long time ago. Right? Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. life. You know, that's, that's my, that's what I am. Right? Yeah. It's it, it's interesting. You're talking about like people on on the internet. Like it seems like a lot of people have never been punched in the face, or they don't realize. Oh, yeah. Like it seems it seems like you're talking about loyalty. Like the culture, internet culture, seems to really breed like disloyalty. Like you know what I mean? It's like it's all about ratting like all the whole cancel cancellation oh. cancel culture it's the whole thing is just rat ratting like basically right yeah, like, it, it, it's, all, it's, it, it's sad it's it, it's just a sad uh nowadays people like a uh, six nine and all this stuff it's all ratting yeah i i think it's you know c- cancel culture i think the percentage of people that need to get that deserve a cancellation it's just it's like anything, you know, like something good becomes just animalized, you, you know, and now it's just so easy to, oh, this looks like this. I read this headline, you know, cancel this, that, the other thing. But, you know, like it, w- within reason, I, I think sometimes people need to get it's a good thing when certain people are called out. But again, there's like a line there. And I feel like that line has been crossed. You know, now, now there's no there's no barricade, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, because, like, because, like, Danny, you were talking about just, like, that there's just a certain level. It's, like, if somebody disrespects you enough, like, you're going to fuck them up, and that's just physically what, what's going to happen. And it's, like, it's, like, on the internet, like, people don't know the line as much between just fucking around and really disrespecting someone. Whereas in in person, it's a little clearer, like, 
you crossed the line. Like, right? I, I, I think that it's uh, these people, uh, it, they, 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 the parents should point them like, like, like the, the, the world is real, right? But they don't know reality. Right? They stuck behind playing these video games, and uh, that's why people, these young kids, kill people too easily because they think it's a video game, right? They don't know what's gonna happen. They don't know. You're muff, you're muffled again a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me try. Yeah, there you. Try uh, to stay on <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he was he was getting muffled. I, I I didn't want to interrupt, but yeah, he was getting muffled. No, it's, 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 hold on, I'm trying my best over here. Oh, oh I, I see what's keep, wrong. Did you mute the camera? Check, there we go. check on the bottom. Dude, what was no, that I, Ice T video I, a couple listen. years ago where he? Yeah. Hold on. Is that better? Yeah, you're uh, frozen. Yeah, you I can hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we are. Yeah. Can you hear me? Is it making mm -hmm. noises? Yeah. Oh yeah, the whole thing. It's been these click, these little clicking noises. But I mean, you know, we can live with it. I know. I hate it. I'm, I'm sorry about that. This is totally insane. Dude, you, it's <laughs> many, many of these podcasts. There's weird clicking sounds. People just have to deal with it. When you got quality guests, man, people just fucking have to deal. Uh, but uh, but yeah, you were talking about just people just aren't taught like. Yeah, people aren't teaching no, they're, they're, kids, they're, like, they're, reality they're not, they're not of, taught. like... Uh, yeah, they're not taught. These kids can talk on the thing, and they won't... They, and, and everyone has a platform they can speak now. So you got these morons or mentally ill people who can talk on the phone. You got people in jail with phones talking shit. You're like, like, I'll kill you. Yo, dude, you're in jail. Man. You're going to be out in 10 years. Well, you're, 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 I'm going to fuck the girl tomorrow. You know I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, is that, well, you're saying you deal with that? People tweeting at you from prison being like, when I get out in 10 years, I'm going to stab you. Man, it's like, you know, it gets crazy. And people, you know what's really crazy? People are more racist now than ever. You'd be like, you fucking Jew. You fucking know. spick. You, know, you can call me all three. Nigga, Jew, spick. That's what I am. So it's like, and I, all, all that's in my blood. So it's, so it's like, but it's crazy how they, they come out of the face. I'm like, you, I, I, I would never do that to, like, especially to like, uh, Someone like uh, I would never go to another artist and say you suck. Then wh wh why would you do that? Like this dudes that go to like a show and and, and, and throw batteries at them and stuff. Like what? Why are you doing stuff like this? Like what, yeah. what have you done in life that you can even do something like that? If you have done. If you're a dope artist and you you're better than that guy, I guess I can speak. I say way get mad. But if you're just a fucking dude. That works at Kinko's and fucking you wait all week to go see a fucking band and throw battle, battle, batteries at them. You need to get laid or something, bro. You need to fucking <laughs> do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, loser, loserdom gets amplified. Sad. Absolutely, sad, sad, absolutely sad. amplified on the internet. And and that racism stuff too, because you know, it's like yeah, like I, I feel like like growing up though, like you were saying in New York, like there is a certain thing where like friends you'd fuck with each other a little yeah, bit. You know? if, if you're friends, you could say something, but then if you don't know someone like that, you don't. Yeah, you know, or, or, why, or Why would you do that? Like, there, like, there's, there's different lines, you know, but like, yeah, now online, it's like you don't know if people are kidding or serious, and a lot of people are serious, and yeah. they're not going to get punched in the face because it's the internet. So it's and just it, like it, running wild, you know. It's sad. It's, 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 uh, I, I got a dude that, 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 that does fake pages about me. And I, and, and I can't, and I'm like, I would, I beat this guy down twice already. You know what I mean? What am I supposed to do? The next time, like, it's, 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 it's so sad. And I know it's him because some people tell me, and he tried to pay some bikers off and everything. I told this guy, no matter, I don't give a fuck who's protecting him. When I see this guy, I'm going to fucking beat him. And, I, and, and it's, it's sad that I, I have to do this to a grown man, a 50-year-old man, I got to do this to. You know what I mean? That's all. It's, it's sad, but he, I, he can laugh now. Everything can laugh, and they can tap, and, the, and the jury can look at this and say, "Oh, it's premeditated. It is gonna be premeditated." I want to beat this. I want to strip this guy naked and put on World Star. That's what I'm gonna do. That's, I, I want, it, it, and okay. you heard it first, man. So this is gonna be a big thing. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Dude, Sorry, dude just no. Just don't make fake and pages about and people. I mean, that's what, it. You know? Third time. Third time, third time. Like it's like, yo, know, if, if if you if you're, how can you wake up every day as a man, and talk to him about someone and know that know that you're 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 you're, you're like I can say if you're drugs, you can be something. Oh, you, this guy's straight as you. How weird <laughs> is that? Like 
how do you like act like that? You know what I mean? Like when people when drugs are involved, I say, oh, maybe that's why. But this dude is totally sober. It's totally well, insane. some people have a death wish, you know what I mean? I mean, some people just have this thing of like, I'm gonna fuck with the guy who like you really shouldn't fuck with because they just I, like I, poke I, they I, like I poking a bear. I, I never people like that. poking a bear. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's like uh I mean, that's like that dude, Andrew, from fucking Psalm Zero. I mean, he used to just go into a place and just go, uh, he would just go up to like some big Polish Nazi looking dude, drink the guy's drink and start talking about Israel and Jewish shit in front of this, just to fuck with him, just to get, just so the guy would beat up everyone, you know, just to, I, I mean, like, I'm just you like, know, dude. You, you know, I, I caught him trolling some, some kid from Long Island on, on Instagram recently. Reason, reason. Oh really? Oh, we he should. Was, okay. He was chiming in, and I, I actually ended the whole thing. I'll, I'll, I'll get into that later because it's not worth giving people these props. But there was yeah. like another Instagram page that was really digging in on just a kid from Long Island that, like, you know, he's got he's like one of those NYDM patch guys, and you know, innocent young kid that's just an enthusiast. But it's entertaining to people to just sort of troll him because you know there's typos and he doesn't speak proper English or, you know, maybe he's just typing out of excitement and missing words. And, you know, it became total troll fest and it got to the point where it annoyed me that, that, you know, make a joke, laugh amongst your friends. But when you start going public and like living to troll to fuck with some like 23 year old kid, it, it, it gnawed at me to the point where I did my research and I figured out who the, the, the main troll in this whole thing was and I ended it. I sorted the whole thing. I figured it, you know, I just let him know that I knew who he was casually. Oh, and okay. his entire family was tagged in a post. So, do oh, we man, have to? Andrew we Andrew was <laughs> Andrew was one of the people involved in that. And all I could do is like find his brother. His brother lives in New York and send a message. You know, like I, it got to that level where I was so offended and appalled that. His, yeah. I, I escalated it. His but brother's we'll, a good we'll dude, though. That's, his his brother's a, a good dude. We should we should after this we'll gossip we'll gossip and 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 stuff. Uh, yeah. The uh, the brother was just like a last straw. Like if I can't if I need to go there I'll go there just to make the example. But yeah, he's been dragged into too much <laughs> shit. Uh, you know, and his, he he yeah, ends up taking. We'll let know, him live. Who's, who's, who's guy Andrew? Who's, who's this? He's just this dude I used to play in a band with. Who kind of like I mean he kind of got canceled for like getting on, getting on some like Louis C.K. shit with this girl, but uh, but you know it was just it, it was just like this dude like everyone already fucking hated him. Very talented dude, but you know it's just like kind of last straw. Very. Uh, you know, and and uh, so everyone kind of dropped him. But yeah, now he just works with NSBM dudes, even though he's Jewish and shit. You know, it's like one of this kind of like yeah, it's, it's like, what? Yeah, he's he's fully fully Jewish Long Island dude, but he just like he just is like all like rolls with these noise noise Nazis and 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 black metal Nazis and shit. I don't know. People are fucked yeah, up, man. People are fucked up. People people are fucking weird. My phone keeps fucking wanting to fall all over the place. Phone, I'm actually going to plug phone, it in. I'll be back. I have a new phone for me. Like, whatever's going on in my phone, phone is fucked up. Yeah, dude, you're not you're not the well, first on here, man. People are phone. people are patient with that. I mean, my this computer is from 2014. I don't know. The 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 phone's a little newer, but but um I can't be getting you a new definitely phone. Definitely need every a new phone. Minutes. You're it, it, Isaac's phone is like infinitely on one percent. <laughs> no, no, you forget. You're, you're muffled again, man. It's on six. Wait, that's, there, we there we go. Six percent. Dude, I'm loving this Meyer Lansky shit you've got on, man. That is making. Yeah. Sense. That's, that's that's sick, dude. That's sick. I can't believe a dude who started the Aryan Brotherhood was Jewish, man. That is that is the he, most he, bonkers. He, 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 he's called the Hulk, but he, he had a he had a star David on him. Yeah. The they, oh, the Pope is what they call him. No, no, the Hulk. Hulk. The, the the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I thought you said. Yeah, Literally, yeah. Hulk, like like the green, like Hulk. Yo, the dude was like sixty six years old and he's old as fuck. Fucked up haircut, you're crazy. That's fucking insane, dude. That's fucking insane. I, I yeah, I gotta say, I mean, like, I was kind of interested, man. Like, 
so this is something i don't know like just listening to the new scarhead right and getting and getting hyped on it but yeah. then also thinking about like some stuff like you know paul like watching some like interviews with paul like the thing i got so hyped i press played on it and it's like you're just like i don't give a fuck about politics like it was just like no more politics fuck society i was like that's like like i just love that line like sparking the whole thing and like left right you were just like fuck the left fuck the right like um uh, i don't know that like resonated with me but then i was kind of like oh but there's also some stuff on here that is kind of political or like kind of you know and so i was kind of getting into like i got excited because there's this kind of yin and yang of like giving a fuck versus not giving a fuck and like the kind of you know the balance you know oh you're getting muffled man we can't hear Scarhead is, is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scarhead is street music. You mean so? Uh, it, 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 it's, it's also coming from a criminal element too. So very much. So that's how. That's how. That's how I, I figure. I'm, I'm, I'm using the thing. I'm... <laughs> so it's, it's a, a criminal element. So that's Scarhead rules. Scarhead rules. So, but yeah, but that's why I talk all this stuff. It's like it's like. Yeah, this and that, but it's basically the same thing. I I, I keep the same format of like uh, like in your face, you know, ready to don't don't try to test this. That's, who, that's how it is. But you mean like who came up with the up names? Name? Who came up with the name Scarhead? The, the guy right over here, MQ. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga over here. What are you doing? Jesus. Yeah, but who made Scarhead? He's active. Yeah, tell him. Yeah, it's, it's a combination. There you go. Of combination. Energy. See that combination of energy. Co combination energy, yeah. Combination of energy and fucking of street street knowledge. That's yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 you're kind of saying like um, like if like if it gets into some like uh like criticizing like the police or some shit like that, it's more from a criminal standpoint yeah, but, than but, it, than oh, it, you know. But my thing is this: I the, the, the police, the cops are doing the job. They. Their, their, their job is to be, be cops to stop criminals like me. So that, that it's, it's that that's life. You know? So when so when it, when, I, when when I get locked up, whenever I get locked up, or whenever I get stabbed, whenever something happens to me, I don't go why this happened to me. I know why it happens to me. And, 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 I, and, I, and if I'm stabbed, I'm and I'm living, and I'm, I'm in jail, and I'm living, I'm only only thing that I'm doing good because that's called karma. I mean, I got I did a lot of bad bad things on the streets to people who were bad. You mean? Yeah. I never yeah. I never did anything really to someone for the innocent person. You understand? Know yeah. So my, yeah. My, my people well, you you wrangled me into crown thorns. Not true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, brutality, my, man. That's brutality. My, my 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 beef is with people who are like me, other other street guys or gang members and stuff like that, uh, other organizations that we have problems with. But besides that. I'm cool with everybody, and even then, the other people, uh, other gangs, and other things, they respect me. They listen to my music, and they respect me. They see me, they get, they, yo, what's up, E? And I say, what's up? You know what I mean? So yeah. that that's that's life, man. That, that's how, that's how I live life. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. That, that, I don't know what that, what that means anything, but 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 my music is is part of my life. If my life's getting hectic, but my music's getting hectic. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. So so I, I'm yeah. trying to do that, and and uh. Uh, right now, I'm moving up. I'm moving towards doing acting. I'm doing all these acts. I'm doing more of an acting now. I'm in a new TV show on Tubi called Crash the System. From oh, Kamal shit. From, the, from Kamal from the Turkey Boys, directed. Uh, I'm in, it's two uh, two seasons. I'm in the first four episodes as Randy Roach Trap. And, 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 and people all over the world love it. So I'm doing that. I, I, Kamal called me yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm filming two more weeks in November to do season three. Sick. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even know about this. It's already two seasons are already out. Yeah, two seasons are out. It's called Crash the System. It's on Tubi right now. Tubi Television. Uh, I'm also doing a, a horror movie with Don Caprio and Louis 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 Lombardi. I'm doing a horror movie soon. That'll be in January. Uh, I'm just working on doing my acting. Right? So that's sick, dude. Who who or what do you play in the in the in the horror movie? If, if I say I'm, Ezek uh, in the I, mirror I, five I play, times, do you uh, appear with an ice pick? I play, I, play, here, 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 I play a white trash dude from Kentucky. Like, okay. Uh, like, like extreme. Like that guy. Is driving <laughs> me, 
So yeah, so Mountain Dew, and, uh, you know, like, so I got to play a hillbilly like that. So you 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 talk with like a like they have you do like a white trash accent, like a twang, like a hey, redneck uh, counselor, counselor. <laughs> yeah, that's like a, that's believable. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do it. We're we'll filming soon, so it's cool. That's fucking exciting, man. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more acting, so, so I'm happy about that. You know, so that's something I love and uh, something I always want to do. I always say when I hit fifty, I'll do more acting. I did a, I did a movie, a, a, a short film with uh, Real Wolf guys, and uh, what's it called? And uh, I did a movie with Peter Green, and the one uh, to COVID, I couldn't even go to uh, L.A., but I won the the Indie X Film Festival. And and I won the the best duo, me and uh, Peter Green. Oh, sick! All right. Well, this thing right here. So it says, "Outstanding Achievement Award for Acting Duo: Danny Dell, Peter Green for Priceless." So this is something like something something that I'm, I'm proud of, you know, and I got. Yeah, that's so. sick, dude. Congrats. Because, I mean, I like, yeah, I got to admit, I'm sort of, uh, I wasn't really in touch with what you were doing acting-wise. You know, I just know your yeah, music. So, yeah. I just know your music through the years. But it's like, yeah, you got to just do everything. It's English like, Dogs in Bangkok. <laughs> English Dogs in Bangkok. Like, <laughs> this crazy film. But like, it's like, Is that another yeah, movie you were in? <laughs> it's a, so I did the soundtrack for that. And they're oh, doing shit. a movie, English Dogs in Bangkok, and English Dogs in London. They're doing English Dogs in New York. And I'm going to be... I'll be acting in that movie too as one of the, one of nice. the criminals gang leaders. So nice, man. I mean, yeah. It's I. I think uh, like musicians in general, we could learn from this to just be like, especially nowadays, like just anything that you can do even outside music just add any talent that you have just do it like you know like I, I, like I, I, like we can't just specialize anymore we got to just do like everything we world, have to bring you know the whole world is uh like you see snoop dogg and all these dudes i mean like like uh, action bronson is wrestling you know what i mean like it's, yeah it's, 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 it's cool it's to see that like because like when i was younger i was like a few years ago i was like fuck this I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of steroids and become a fucking wrestler because like, if it make more sense than anything, I can fucking I can be the, 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 the you know Danny Diablo. My main my my, my move would be called the Hebrew Hammer. I mean that would be fucking amazing. Yes. Right? So I would fucking I mean it, 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 would, it would make a lot more sense than anything else. So so this party. Who knows? I, maybe I want to go that route. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. People do this in- influencer boxing shit. Like that's a whole thing. Like inf- inf- influencer fighting. <laughs> yeah, it's it, 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 you know, it, it's so crazy because I see a lot of these rappers and they're just talking about boxing and themselves and 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 then they argue. It, it, it's just crazy. I see them and I'm like, yo, I never knew this dude box. You know what I mean like a lot yeah. of these dudes? It's it's like when 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 you see uh. I got. I know. I'm not gonna say no names, but I know a dude who who plays guitar in the band. He's like, oh, he sucks. He'll be at a, a game talking shit to someone, and I'll be like, yo, bro, you can't. Even, my sister throws a football better than you with mm-hmm. her left arm. And how, why are you talking shit about a guy, an NFL, NFL guy who who fucking destroy you in a second? Stop talking shit about these players. These guys are NFL. These guys are uh, 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 dudes who are fucking uh, uh, athletes uh, beyond. Whatever, it's just not, yeah. like, dude, dude, if you if you are a, someone who can't even throw a, a baseball or a football or can't even run down the block and you talk shit about other athletes, shut the fuck up. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, get, it gets retarded when people are just out of their depth. But like, but as far as like people doing stuff that's like not a stretch, you know, yeah. like going like going from music to acting, like that's yeah, yeah. totally makes sense. And it's like you already were like just made for that shit. So it's like I, I don't know. Like I think a lot of times nowadays, in a good way, like musicians are branching out. Like you, you know, like like if you like, I'm not making money from this yet from this YouTube thing, <laughs> but like yet. But I mean, if you told me like ten years ago, like yeah, dude, you're gonna be doing this YouTube channel, I'd be like, dude, I don't like no man. I'm a musician. I don't do shit like that. But now I'm just like, dude, I'll anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested. It, yeah, I'm they, just they, gonna, they keep relevant. You know, yeah, yeah like just branch out. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, I love this, man. Like this yeah, is, I'm, yeah. I'm almost as into this as I am into music. I mean, not quite, but you know, it's like, but yeah. it, 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 it's good to break them, to break it up. You know, I mean? so it's good also that people will see you that and, and, and come to you for for information. That's that's kind of cool. 
Yeah, yeah, different avenues, and it's like you know, like like you like you you said, there's people who are fans of your your rap and solo stuff that don't that yeah. don't even know Crown of Thorns. Like I've got a few people now that I, like know the YouTube and don't even know my bands, which is like that's almost kind of weird because I'm like, bro, really? Like you got to check the shit out. But yeah, um, yeah. but but still, but it's cool to have the variety. I mean, you you like design, like you've got like a streetwear brand too, right? Like, it, like yeah, yeah, I, I, I always had a clothing line, but I got I got a clothing line, New York Hong Kong streetwear, and I also do art. I do like I do. I, I make a living. I pay my rents. I, I I I'd rather do my art than work construction. So I've been I've been working on canvases, and selling canvases and arts, and I make my money. I mean, I, I, I so I do everything. I'm always hustling. It's always grinding and always trying to find something new to make to do. It's all music, art, all the same thing. I'm just a, the outlet of, of cre cre creativity. That's all. That's all I'm trying to do. Yeah, just like every drop, yeah. every type of angle on it. You know, yeah, to put it out yep. there, like not hold, not hold anything back. You had some. You posted something recently that was like a glass. Like you had. It was like a like a fucking graffiti piece, but like there was like coke lines. There were like gro grooves in it to like. Oh no no, 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 no. <laughs> Was that real or what? Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I, am saw I, it. Am yeah, I, uh, I saw it in person. It's am real. I uh, putting you on blast, as they say, or am I? No, uh, no, no. Uh, Listen, I, I, I told you, I'm, I had a, a piece of plaster engraved and etched with my e throw up, but they also etched engraved two perfect lines, coke lines there, the depth. So it's like this thing. So you can put the coke and go like this, and it'll be. So when people say, "Oh, you do a bigger line than that line," so the two perfect lines, right? <laughs> And they say, you know, people use it like, I, listen, I, I, I did, someone made it for me. I was like, all right, I gave them out to all, I gave them out to all my cokehead friends, and they fucking love it. They're like, you got mad and I'm like, what am I gonna say? You know what I mean? But I started first. Remember that, oh, dude? Oh. Yeah, and you're 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 preventing uh, people fighting over lines of coke. You know, you're actually <laughs> keeping the peace because it's like there's a way of measuring the lines. That shit this is really really funny. <laughs> I can't, I can't touch that stuff anymore, man. That's just like my whole thirties. I just, I fucking went astray, man. Like, it's just like. But if you can handle oh, it, dude, you know, Mazel Tov, man. No, that's that's the problem. Like, 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 like. <laughs> the problem is, you everyone thinks they can handle it, but it's 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 like when you're a good place, you're a good place. And and, and, and it, listen, I don't drink like that. I don't, if I'm at a bar and someone buys me a drink, which they all gonna do me. Do, do do for me. I'll, I'll I'll drink. If someone gives me some coke, if I'm listen, I I don't I'm not looking for anything. But if I go into a strip club and two bitches are with their titties out, like do cocaine, I'll do a cocaine. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's scenarios where you're just. Like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say no to this. Thing. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. yeah. You, you only live once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, although you only live once, I mean, that's 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 the exact thing I've told myself to justify all kinds of just like the dumbest shit, like oh just terrible God. impulse control, you know. But, but I would say the music, the music that we do, I mean, like 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 hard music, it it, 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 it comes comes with the bar, and with the bar comes everything else, the fighting. The drinking, the fucking politics, the fucking all that is in the same world. So when people, when people are fucked up and have a problem, they have to leave the whole world because that world. I mean, oh, I'll stop doing coke, but I'll go and I'll, I'll drink. Or I'll, I'll just drink. I won't do coke. You can't. It's it's there. It'll gonna get you. The violence is there. So, yeah, you like break the seal. Yeah. So if I really wanted to stop anything, I would have to leave this whole world and become a librarian somewhere in Alaska. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's, yeah, that's but it. Alaska's that's probably that. the worst place. <laughs> right? well, you... <laughs> I want, I'm a, I'm an Alaskan fantasy. I don't know why, but not but everywhere, I right? I, I just want, except for I don't want to be in the John Denver plane. I just want to be Alaska. Right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you move out somewhere to get away from it, and then you find the one guy who sells stuff because they can psychically, like, sense, you know, they see you at the out bar, there. and then all of a sudden, that you place, know. That place is fucked up. Alaska. There's I, mad I, gang activity out there. Is there? I've never been there, yeah. Yeah. And also, it's all fun. It's, it's dark and nice, and you're mentally, it fucks you up. Uh, the most of suicides, you mean? Yeah. And, and everyone there is from escaping from somewhere else. They did something in the past. So all those guys that work in the oil rigs, and oil lines, they're all fucked up. All, like they did something, they, they, they had to leave. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. See, a lot of serial killers too out there. Is that the vibe? 
Hey, that's the truth. Yeah. That's true. That's <laughs> Alaska chapter next. No, this is DMS Alaska. Oh, Alaska chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get like DMS, like uh, fucking like really right, warm much, coats much, and shit. Much. Yeah, yeah, much more, right? Just like. <laughs> Just beating people down in igloos and shit. <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> speaking of the, the Inuits, Eskimos, whatever they're out there. Wait, what about yeah, wait, 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 you? You were gonna say something about Inuits? Wait, yeah. No, say no, no. I love uh, you know, Bjork. I'm, I'm a big Bjork fan. Yes, me too. I love me too. Bjork, you know, so. That was yeah, man. Punk rock too. She's punk rock. She's she comes punk. out of it. Yeah, 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 she, yeah. She's the, the, the dude from the dude from the Crash. It's, they had that label. I forgot she was on that label. Oh, is that right? Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't know that, man, but she's she punk, punk, punk. I knew she was into punk, yeah, no, she but I, punk I, 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 yeah, but that's actually like legitimately. Was that before? Because she had sugar cubes. Before was sugar it, cubes. Was that even before the sugar cubes? Before she was on the crass. Dude, crass, yeah. man. I mean, because that's some interesting shit. Because they're like super raw punk. Yeah, they're like. Oh, but they always had their finger on some other stuff as well. Like it's always that sort of also, you, variety. You, you, you look at the the, the Crash's uh, logo and all that. Oh, the, the art. You know what I mean it's, it's, I have to do the art too. You know, you can tell that like, the whole all these crust punks that the whole Crash shit. That's from the Crash. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's another great example of you know you're talking about uh, show me the body and talking about Paul's work yeah. you know that thing of having the art and the visual the whole atmosphere dialed all in together, yeah, tied you up know together. it's this like a whole experience you know um, yeah that's an so show me thing. the bodies from New York right yeah yeah Brooklyn yeah yeah that that's cra- I, yeah, I, th- oh, I think those dudes are from Manhattan originally but now I think yeah. yeah. I think they're out in Brooklyn yeah but dude that, that there, just made there's me so- a whole new wave. Yo, they, 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 there's, they, there's they, a band they, from uh, from they, Staten they, Island. Staten? Yeah, there's a band, I believe, this Staten Island, maybe Staten Island, Brooklyn, called Jigsaw Youth. That okay. is, uh, to me, it's it sounds like '90s grunge. It's strange, but they're fucking getting huge. And okay. again, I just stumbled upon it, and it, it's in that same realm of like, how did this? Where was I when this happened? When this band rose, you know? <laughs> rose up to here. There's a lot of interesting things that, that are sort of coming out of New York that are just, you know, not in lane with what I'm listening to these days. And when I see it, I'm like, fuck. Like, when I discovered Show Me the Body, it was already enormous. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, I love Show Me the Body. It's just like, and, like, Cash One, I, I, he killed that Starhead song I did. Yes. Like, me, me is, like, that's the hardest song in the fucking world. Me, like, 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 I set it off and he, and he comes in. And it was like it's like it's like it's like a, it's like a street Ian McKay. You know? Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, well, yeah, this cool. this is what fascinates me too, though, because like I didn't even know. Like I was talking about trying to get Julian on the on the stream. Like yeah. just even before, like I I was just talking to Paul. And I was like, yeah, yeah, like I'll, I'll get this guy Julian on. And then he was like, oh yeah, Ezek was just telling me about Show Me the Body. And because I had thought, like, I heard about that band through people who aren't even really that into New York hardcore. I mean, people no, who don't they, even they, they, really they, know. They, 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 they were they, like, yeah, I mean, they were like, I heard about them through people who are a little more indie rock or experimental or noise rock or electronic, yeah. like people on that other side of things. And so then I was like, oh shit, this obviously comes out of New York hardcore. I wonder if these guys. You know, like if the older heads listen to them or or what, and then I heard that you were recommending Show Me the Body. I was like, "Fuck yeah, we should get them all on the stream." And then I saw that he was already on your EP. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I I thought I was on this like clever shit of like, "Yo, I'm gonna put them together." It's like it's done. It's already done. Like I, you know, it's like, but uh, but that was also the shit on so just on the Jewish vibe. I was just like, "That's the yes, yes that's." Yes, you know, yes, yes. Cause he's very open. Like oh, it's a, not, it's, it's like an open part of his vibe. Like they've got tracks about the Holocaust and the yeah, Holocaust he's, museum he's, and shit. He's, he's, he's a good kid, man. You're like, and uh, talking to him, like the younger kids. So when they talk, talk they did the album fest with, with, uh, with burn. They played together with, you know, we all were with, with chilling. They played. And it was just cool. When I saw like, it was weird because my, 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 my girl, when I was talking and all, so all these strippers were there. I was like, yo, why are these girls here? They, they, they all love show me the body. They're like all young stripper girls. I'm like, yo, the, the world is crazy. I mean, they all were like graffiti. 
and the strippers and that they went and I was like, this is fucking crazy. The yeah. they, they had a crowd and, and 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 I had to take my hat off to that, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's right. what that that that's what was kind of like. It, it, I love when this stuff, though, it, like it bleeds out into people who like don't know exactly what they're seeing. Because yes. the, the people who told me to check out Show Me Body, again, they were like, yeah, it's this weird thing where it's like punk, but it's kind of urban. And like they're white, Electric, but, yeah. but it's, it's, it's very like racially mixed. I don't know how to describe it. I'm like, it's New York hardcore, dude. That's all yeah, you need yeah, to say. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, people are like, I don't know what to call this. I'm like, there's a word for that. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, it's New York hardcore. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they, they don't know. They don't, they don't say it. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool because it's if people get, you know, and so maybe maybe some of those people get into Crown of Thorns. Maybe some of those people, you know, get into Scar. I mean, they probably already are a lot, most of them, but, but, but some of them, maybe these new kids need to, you know, they, they go back, they go, go back into the history or something, you know. But, um, yeah, man, it goes on and on. Uh, yeah, I mean, just I, just all that shit makes me just proud to be from New York, man. I can't. I mean, hearing that you were out here for eight years in L.A., it makes me feel a little less like just anxious about being here, man. Because it's like I, I'm kind of I'm kind of hating it, dude. I'm kind of yeah, yeah, it, it happens. I, I, I surrounded myself with people. See, I surrounded myself with uh, with uh, other kids, other kids, and we I started a DMS chapter out there and oh, and, sure. and, and, and up north. So. My, so we we had we had like a one point thirty members out there. So I I surround myself with people from New York, whatever. That's how a lot of people from New York, they're a lot of transplants. So I hang out, whatever. But it, the, the, the neighborhoods in L.A. Like I lived in Encino, the Pico Union. I lived in a whole bunch of places. Uh, right. South San Coronado, right by Epitaph. Um, and the neighborhood, none, no one knows each other. It's like it was weird. Yeah. Like, you know, no one talked to each other. It, it's, you just go out and you can't even walk the streets because like, it's like. Just weird shit, bro. It's it really got to me for a while, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. Glad to be I'm, back in New York. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in I'm in Highland Park, which is right. I mean it's 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 ha- you know halfway really like gentrified and and nice by, and by stuff. The reservoir over there? Uh, not far from that. Yeah, I mean a little bit further east, yeah. but it's like um. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy gang stuff, but then also like expensive coffee shops. It's, you know, it's yeah, like it's both. I mean, it's it's like that New York, the, you know, thing that's happening in New York. You know, it's like <laughs> the, the, the clash of. Well, dude. Okay, no, but here's okay. Here's what I want to know. Uh, I mean, I want to know a lot of shit. I'm already knowing it. But 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 as far as New York, dude, because I'm moving back next year. Yeah. Everyone's telling me. I mean, they're posting pictures where they're like, yo, this homeless guy just, you know, smashed the bottle over my head. I mean, like, shit, is it, people are telling me that it's slipping back into taxi driver world. Yes. But they're also telling me that the rent is still high, and yes. it's like, so it's like worst of both worlds. Like, it's, I'm just like, it, fuck, it, is this I what I'm coming back I, to? I, I, it, it, it's, it's horrible. It's like I think <laughs> it is getting, it, it, it's definitely getting a bit crazier. You know, the, like, a, after COVID, when everything was, you know, it was like the lights were off, so the creatures came out, it it stayed pretty (laughs) wild. But I also do think that that certain media outlets are would normally not want to spotlight or showcase that shit because that's bad for business. And now it's good to spotlight it because it'll make other media outlets, you know, it's just now let's focus on why these people are ruining the city or this or that. It's a very political move. Like, you know, shit would always happen on the subway. I know someone that worked for the MTA and he's just like, oh, people falling on the tracks all the time. You know, we just don't talk about it. Now yeah. they talk about it, you know? like So you got to think why now is this being, like there's 10 million people here. So there's always going to be this crazy shit. It's just, do we throw a blanket over it or do we make it public? And I, I do think a lot of it, granted people are wiling out these days, but a lot of it has to do with, you know, these, uh, the media just wants you to be in constant fear, you know? Yeah. So, fine line. It, it's wild, but you know, I, I wonder how much crazier it is versus what it was. So we just weren't hearing about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. Yeah, I don't know, like Tucker Carlson or like folks like that. They definitely want to hype it up, like, oh shit, you know, war zone or whatever, you know. But um, I also don't want to be naive, though. You know what I mean? Like, cause I, I mean. I think it's even when things were supposedly safe, I mean, I'm always watching my back anyway. Like, it's, I mean, it never, I never stopped, you know, <laughs> eyes in the back of the head, no matter what neighborhood or decade, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's true. 
But yeah, so if it's exaggerated, then I guess I won't. I don't know. I guess I'll come back with the same attitude as before. Like, I, I, I don't know. I mean, when I visit, there's like kind of it. Nobody's paying for the everyone jumps the turnstile now. That's one thing I saw when I come when I come back and visit everyone like under the age of like 40, basically, is just flying over the fucking turnstile. Like that was new to me. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's that? And Q goes, I never stops. <laughs> <laughs> never stops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's older folks now, though, man. It's like everybody. It's crazy. Oh man, it's it's it's. It, it, I, I, I'm just like I'm just scared for my. I'm when people talk all this shit. I'm just like I'm scared for my mother. That's all. Yeah. That's it. For the kids. For the kids. Yeah. The young kids. Yeah, growing up. Today. Yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. So you're so you so you are seeing it as as getting worse. I yeah, yeah exactly. The, the best part is it like. You can't defend yourself. We can't do it. If you do something, like someone comes in your house, if, the, if someone came to my house right now and tries to steal, like, steal something, I catch him, I hit him in the head with a bat, I'm, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Like, it, it's like, why? It's like, it, it, it's like if there's someone goes in your car, whatever. My thing is this. If, if someone comes on your property and goes in your house, you have everybody to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. Oh, right? that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. If someone steals your car, same thing. Like, like, I don't give a fuck with drugs, whatever. Like, I, I have a family with me and my son. Or my, my my woman, I, I, I'm I'm killing you. You know what I mean? And and and, and, and uh, people don't believe that anymore. Right? And that's why people the, the world sucks now. Like if if if, I, if you came to my house and you brought and tried to rob my house and you cut yourself on the window when you jumped out of my house, they they sue you because you got they got you get know. sued. You. I know so people they, really they, do the that. World does not make sense. No, it's insane. It, it, it's insane. It's yeah. insane. The, the 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 shit I see that 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 really is like demoralizing to look at is like these videos now like always circulating of all this violence on the on the on the subway and stuff yeah. where it's where it'll and be no like one's, no, one's helping anyone. no one helps them but everyone's yep. filming it because they because they, 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 they like this kind of stuff it's like face. and if you help them they what if i, if I help them I, I crack the guys and break the guy's neck i'm going to jail yeah it, 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 it's sad so some guy got robbed three guys came robbed an old man and it, it, it's bodega, the guy, the guy took a knife, stabbed the guy in the neck. You mean? And he went to jail. I'm like, why you yeah. go to jail? You get robbed. It's like, yeah. you, you come in there and try to rob someone, you get stabbed, you die. It, yeah. You shouldn't about that. You shouldn't be robbing people. That's what these, these kids are fucking are morons. And I, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I don't have no political views, left, right, whatever. But you, that, that's straight up. If you come into my house, or my plate, my business, where I, fit, where I feed my family, like you know, the riots and the old people breaking windows, like and people didn't show what what ha really happened in the Bronx. They were destroying stuff. When yeah. everyone walked down the street, they went to try to do that shit to uh, in Washington Heights. And the Dominicans, the Dominicans, the BLM came down. Pulled, the Dominicans pulled out guns and said, "Yo, you niggas come up in here and do anything, try to rob us, we're killing you." And that's, yeah. how, that's, that's how it is. My mother goes to the pharmacy. My, I own this business. But if you destroy the pharmacy, you destroy how my mom's gonna survive. Without medicine, you know I mean, I and mean, you destroy my business. How am I gonna treat my kids? So, it's all stupid. You know I mean, it's reality. Don't fucking, don't riot, don't break shit, and do the right thing. That's it. Yeah, that's that's the thing about the rioting. I was like, man. If the cops are so bad, why aren't they like mowing you down right now? I mean, I'm like, I'm not, say, I'm not saying they should. I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I'm glad they didn't mow people down, but I'm like, it, it, you know, like it seems like they people were kind of allowed to like burn a lot of shit. And I, th I think a lot of that chaos didn't really have to do with much with the protesting. It's no, like no, adjacent it's to people, being buzz, people being assholes. Yeah, it's just Beavis and Butthead shit with fire, man. That's it. You know, it's it's about like, saying, you know. like, 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 it's, it's like, all right, you, you, you would, you would do all that shit, like, and like, why didn't you burn down the fucking, uh, you, you want to burn down the fucking precinct? Fucking, you bury the cops, burn the precinct now. Why are you burning down people's businesses, their own businesses? Yeah. You know I mean, they, they, it's, they, like, they, it's like, if, if, if you're, if you are a vegan warrior and you're like, but you 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 bother the old Jewish lady on 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 on, on Fifth Avenue with a fur yeah. like you stupid cunt you yeah. like, 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 listen <laughs> listen bullshit. old Jewish lady you know what you you, you want to be a, I respect you and how I respect you you go to the to the, the Hell's Angels clubhouse and all the leather things you go to into the clubhouse and throw shit on them or go to a uh, hundred first Avenue with the John Gotti's fucking old neighborhood you throw it on a monster 
And then I'll respect you. You do that. Yeah. But you find an old Jewish lady, white lady, get the fuck out of here. You fucking moron. <laughs> Or well, you go you back got, to the two thousand, the yeah, early two thousand Isaac with the fur coat. No, you gotta fuck with the mobster with the fur, fur coat. Do that. Oh, go, you had a fur go, coat go face. Go to Harlem <laughs> and fuck with like one of the, the drug dealers with pink fur. Throw, throw shit or say something to him. Yeah, yeah. Do that. And I, don't, I don't respect you. Leave the fuck old lady alone. What, I ha- did. what happened to your fur coat? You had that wild. I got fur mad coat. fur coats, bro. I love fur coats. Sorry, sorry, little little furry animals. It's a vibe for a while, man. It's the yeah. Chinchilla. You had that wild fur coat. I remember that. It was some I guess, sort I guess, of chinchilla. I bought, I bought that, the Sherling, the Sherling. I got a Sherling vest. I bought in Israel in the Arabic oh, shit. quarter. I want to go. I want to go to Israel, man. I want to play in Israel, dude. It would be so sick. You played over there a bunch. Israel's beautiful. Yeah. So you, like, you you play there with Scarhead or Crown of Thorns? No, I went out there. I went out there just to, to see my family. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got family out there. Yeah. 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 Deep man. Was it that birthright shit? No. Did you, or, or, just, or did you just, just me, go? Just me going out there to chilling. Is it birthright? Is kids right? They send kids over. Is birthright. That the vibe? Yeah. Birthright. They, they, they send you out. Free. I, I, I pay for my shit. Like, like, I, listen. If the world's coming to wherever. They, I might have to go to Israel, fucking start a life out there. You know I mean, they pay for everything. You know I mean? Dude, yeah. I mean, if if the world goes just full on race war and like oh, you and it. you just and you have to just pick some shit, then I'm yeah, going. you pick Jewish, you know, or whatever. <laughs> I'm, you I'm, going, I'm going to Israel. And they, and they're like, yo, we'll pay for your shit. Yo, I'll put you in a thing, kibbutz. I'm God, boy. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kibbutz. <laughs> I, I think that uh, I, I think isn't that birthright shit though for like younger where they like they pay they want you to go over and like have more babies right or they they try to fix they, you they, up. They, they want more. They want they they're smart. They, they want they're like oh Yo, if you're Jewish, so you're there's a cutoff. They birthright. take care. They give you money. They put yeah. you in. A, they put you up a thing and they teach you like they 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 put you in society. So you know wherever if, I, if it comes from my part, I'm out, bro. <laughs> Dude. It could, man. It could go that way. Fucking crazy. Yo, listen. A lot of anti- anti-Semitism right now. Anti-Semitism. The people hate Jews more than ever now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see this? I mean, that is some shit I see on the on the subway. I mean, no, the it's, couple. It's, of, it's, you know. it's the saddest thing in the world. That people hate Jews more and more. And, and I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it because it's, it's really, it really sucks. I see more and more of it, and, 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 and people don't. People have to understand, like, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're people, if, if people are doing something fucked up and you are OG, you got to tell your people, hey, that's not right. And a lot of people aren't doing that. Oh, you mean, you mean people aren't calling their, calling their own people out for racism and yeah, stuff like that? Or? Like, I'm saying, I'm saying I'm you're muffled again. You're, 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 getting muffled. Muffled. You're, you're getting muffled. I want to get this because this is going to be deep right now. All right. Yeah. So, so, so <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if, yeah. if you're doing something, if, if someone, let's say, let's say Puerto Ricans are doing something crazy and, I'm, and, and, and it's, it's not right, and I'll be like, yo, uh, so the OG has to talk to me. Hey, yo, you kids got to start wilding out. You can't be robbing these people, blah, 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 fighting Dominicans, whatever. But a lot of people don't do that anymore. A lot of people yeah. are like, yeah. like the whole fucking. Every time I hear, oh, Asian hate, the white power, white power, I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? I mean, it's like, I haven't seen one white power Nazi do anything to an Asian person in my life. Every time there's an Asian person getting fucked up, it's always a black person. That's, I like, wasn't going to say, but yeah. I'm like, just <laughs> telling you what, what it is. That's, no, that is from, what it from, is, yeah. From watching every fuck my whole life. You know, watching, you know, like, I know Chinese gang members are black. It's always that. And, and, and someone from the black community needs to tell these young kids, stop doing that. You can't, you're making it look bad. You mean? It's yeah, fucked yeah. up. It's racist. And that's how and people understand it. So when I see all this stupid thing, white, 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 white power against AIDS, and AIDS, I'm like, no, there's not one. I've never seen one skinhead ever go against some fucking uh, a, a, a Chinese person, Asian person. It's, it's fucked up. The media makes this all this weird shit. So if someone has to talk to someone and be like, in their community, be like, no. That's not right. You know, I, I, I don't see that happening at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, sad. Yeah. It's sad. I think I, the, a lot of the the white side, like a lot of white, I, I think a lot of the racism coming from white people now, it's like not so much the neo-Nazi, like oh, we're gonna go fuck with people. It's more like regular people 
just getting more weird, racist. Weird. Like just regular like d- day job working people are just being like, "Yo, I'm actually more racist than you thought." You're like, "Oh shit!" You know, it's like just kind of <laughs> like it's like you know, it's it's not like it's not thug shit. It's just mask off normal guy shit. Like, yeah, like, it, it's, it's, like so, it's crazy. I'm like yeah. I always I tell people I when I when I see the Nazi dude with a swastika on his arm and dressed up in a shirt and look like Nazi like at rallies and I'm like. I respect that guy because I know where he stands. It's right. the dude that I, it's the dude I'm doing business with, and and later on, uh, he's like, he's like, oh, I'm just trying to Jew you down. I'm like, Jew me down, the fuck. You know, he's like, oh, oh, he leaves me, he's like, fucking Jew. And he'd be like, 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 that's the guy that I want to punch in the fucking face. The guy that yeah. smiles at me, be like, fucking disgusting Jew. Like, fuck. And I seen him. I seen people in my scene like that, and it uh-huh. fucking bothers me. I'm like, yo. He really means that. You know, he's like, they're fucking Jews. Or fuck. I mean, a lot of dudes, man. A lot of dudes are seen like, uh, well, and, and that bothers me. You know, oh, like, like, so. Yeah, even I, recently. I, even even recently, like nowadays. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's nowadays, you're finding you know, it. More now. It, it, I see a lot of friends of mine on, on Instagram who are, who are like, against this and against that. Fuck Israel. Fuck this. And I'm like, oh, whoa. I never, like, when I say, when I say, uh, Happy Passover to my brother Jews. And see, free Palestine, fuck that Jew. I'm like, yo, when you say, oh, I don't go to Arab fucking pages. I'm like, oh, happy wherever, beautiful day in a Muslim country. I'm like, fuck you, fucking Muslim. Fuck. I, I, don't, I, don't right. say that. I don't believe in that. But when yeah, I, yeah. I'm going to have happy, happy Passover, happy Yom Kippur, you're like, free Palestine, fuck that. I'm like, the fuck is that? Like, get up no. my Don't no, be this- an asshole. Dude, this is interesting to hear because I, I like w- when you were saying anti-Semitism, I, I was thinking more like like neo-Nazi old school type dudes. But you're talking about people who are on the free Palestine. Yo, and, and they're, they're, dudes like free Palestine and, and it'll be like some girl and so, some girl. Uh, and I'm not, you know, and, and you read whatever you want. I'm, I'm just saying like I'm, I'm just saying happy New Year to Russell Stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, you say free Palestine and it'll be some fucking woman. From fucking lesbian girl. I'd be like, yeah, it's you know, like you know that you know that that yeah yeah the left the lefty political yeah no the sort of yeah yeah, yeah this... but you know if you're gay or you're gay lesbian lesbian and you're in from a Muslim country they'll throw you off a roof and kill you it, yeah, yes yeah dude I know I know yeah in that's... Israel you can be gay and live as a, in Jewish as a gay person and no and no one's gonna hurt you yeah 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 that well that, that, yeah. that doesn't make sense when. Like you're attacked, you're like attacked but, like that. It's yeah, weird no, it's fucked up. And that's you know, it seems like sometimes people use politics just as an excuse to be an asshole. Where it's like you're you're out there just being like, yeah, like Happy New Year. You're not yeah. even trying to get deep no, on, on some I, politics. I, I, you you listen, didn't you, you didn't say I'm not, any. I'm not, you know. I'm, not from, I'm not from Israel, so I'm, I'm Jewish. I'm, I'm not from Israel, right. so I don't know what's going on in the politics over there. Right, I mean, but I they're just yeah. Okay? Yeah, but yeah. being a Jew. I know what's that, but I'm not. I don't have no no against anyone. But if, you, if, if I'm saying something, you're like, and, and you're fucking say for free Palestine, you're not from Palestine, and you're fucking whatever, like who the fuck? It's like yo, it's like like oh, England goes oh, God says Queen, fuck that, IRA, IRA, but, but, no, no, exactly. I, Ireland rules, Ireland, Ireland. I'm like, I got friends. I, I love Irish, but my friends who are fucking next to Woodside, Sunny Side, all Irish friends. You mean? But you know, I'm not saying fuck England. You mean? Yeah, no, I know. It's every everyone. Every needs to country, use, every yeah. country raped another country. The, 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 the England, Italy, the Roman Empire, England, Turks, the the the, 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 the Ottoman Empire. You know, saying like the Mongolians. You know, it's yeah, all well, rape, killing, pillage from different different countries. Well, We're that's all, yeah. everyone, everyone's indigenous from where they're fucking from. That's from what I'm yeah. Indigenous, indigenous. I got black blood in me. I got Spanish blood in me. And I got fucking. I got a Polish Jewish part of me. I didn't do anything to anyone, right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah, no, it's like, well, that's what, like, that's what a nation <laughs> is. Like, a nation means someone came in and raped everybody and killed everyone. I mean, that's like literally. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> everyone has done that to everyone. We have yeah. done it to the fucking Indians, right? Yeah. The Native yeah, Americans, yeah. right? Like, everyone in Spain, Spain, everyone speaks Spanish for a reason. We say, yeah. fucking raped every fucking bitch out there. You know, yeah. They conquered and raped. That's how it was. That's how the world is. Oh my God, you can't talk about that. Bitch, you stupid bitch. Yes, I can. That's what <laughs> the whole world's about that. Yeah, man. So but right then, now, we're, it, it's about right now. It's not about what people did back then. So everyone, the Jews were persecuted and destroyed for years. And they came up, and now they're, 
smart, the engineers, fucking Einstein, the fucking everybody. No one can say that they needed Jews for this world. And they made the world a better fucking place. Hell Israel, yeah, man. Israel was nothing. And we made a fucking country. The, 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 the engineers, the, the, everything. The farms, everything. Nothing, those lands were, they could uh, farm on them. Jews went there and made the fucking best thing. I was saying, I was saying. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. Saying. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm yeah not trying to be, I'm like, people can call me a Zionist now and all this crazy. I'm not angry. I'm just saying what I know. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Like, but you don't have to be a Zionist or an anti-Zionist. I mean, you know, yeah, you don't have to have I don't, I don't like understand the full meaning of that. Side. Yeah, yeah like know. not not everyone has to have like a full on like ideological opinion on every single fucking thing. Sometimes yeah. you just see see stuff, you react to stuff from your personal standpoint, and like that's enough. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> like when you say, yeah, when you're when you're saying Happy New Year, and people are like, oh, so that means I, you have an opinion crazy. on, you know, it's like you're not even trying to stake an opinion on it. It's like other people are just trying to hop in and go nuts with, with why, this why discourse. Do that. Like, like, if you don't like, if you like, my, like, like, uh, if you don't like Puerto Rican Jews, they get off the page. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? like, 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 thank you, bro. It's just, it's just weird that people will act, will act like that. Like, like, if I don't like something, I don't, I don't watch it. Like, if I don't like, like, I don't deal with it. Right? Like, 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 it's, it's like, if you don't like, like drag queens, then don't, don't go, don't go to the last drag queen pole thing. You know what I mean? like, it's like, yeah. I, I love, you know, gay people make the world better. If it wasn't for gay people, this world would be ugly as fuck. You understand? Like, gay people are, I agree. And music art makes the world beautiful. You know what I mean? So when people are like, oh, I hate gay people, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like, like, like like let, let let you whatever people do in their in, in their in their house and, and whatever they want to do sexually, as long as you don't hurt women and children, you're cool with me, man. That's Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely, it. absolutely. Yeah, and that's something where we got to tell you know police our own shit or whatever. You know, if your friends are. <laughs> Yeah, if your friends are getting homophobic, you know, gotta like tell them not to be. You know, it's, it's, it's just weird. Little... Like, 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 it's just weird that people have hatred towards other people. Over there. I'm like, yo, just let life be. You know I mean, just don't, don't hurt women, don't hurt children. You're cool with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But internet shit, man. It's like, mean, do you do you get in do you get in bullshit on the internet, Paul? I mean, do people like? Oh, uh, people fucking. You know, I have people start to call me Jew, nigger, spick. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know what I mean? It's like they wouldn't say that to my face, but still. Me too. Yeah, but but Paul, people fuck with you too online. You get into some like what's the? Not really. Not really. I I keep uh, I I keep my mouth shut when it, and and just respect all sides of stories. You know, publicly, I, I feel like I don't always have the you know, the right to speak about an issue or to speak about something. So why insert myself into a situation if I don't know those struggles and I can't totally speak to them? You know, I just, I figure my silence is actually for the best. I don't need to yeah. throw another opinion out there. You know, if someone asks me, sure. I care about a lot of situations in the world within reason, you know, like uh, I think what's happening in Ukraine right now is awful. I don't want to wave that flag because i don't know what it's like to have my car shot up i could walk to the store right now and just life is fine you know so i feel it's actually my silence on in you know situations i think is important let the people that have something to speak about actually speak why do you need to know my opinion just so you could argue with me you know yeah, I, I get myself in trouble sometimes. Not in trouble, but I, I feel like I step on my dick a little bit sometimes if, like, I'll be try to, like, have an opinion and just be like, what if da 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 about some shit I don't know about? And then people will just start jumping down my throat, and I'm just like, yeah. actually, you know what? Yeah, 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 I take it back. I don't fucking care. I don't even care. Enough. People get mad. People get mad all yeah, yeah. Yo, I, 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 I deal with, I, I deal with uh, Scam Dust is a Trump guy, and I, all day, He's just like, Trump, Trump. I'm like, yo, it's them. Chill the fuck out. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, first of all, you and your brother, Trump guys, and both of you guys are, are, are both uh, convicted felons. Your brother was convicted for fucking murder, bro. You guys can't even vote. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with you? And you guys are Cuban Dominicans. Cubans always love Republicans. They I know. Always, why is that? People go hard with Republicans. I'm like, why is it? Why they do that? Because a Republican got him out of Cuba. So when he came to the United States, they were like, yo, they're like, thank God Republicans helped us. Which fucking now, every day, it's like, that all the young kids, like, communism, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yo, I don't know one person 
that ran away from the United States on a raft to Cuba to get away from fucking fucking democracy. Yeah. Right. Fuck, <laughs> fuck. You mean like, like, like all, that's all things I know that like, all the people I grew up in my neighborhood from Cuba, they escaped and like fuck Castro. These people, young kids, like communism, Castro's the best. I'm like, are you fucking retarded? Yeah, dude. I <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I it's 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 good to not if I don't have the data if I don't have the real fucking data on my side, I, I, I do need to hold my tongue a little bit. Because a lot of the time, a lot of time, I don't even have a hardcore opinion, but I just want to be like, oh, what if, like, I just want to start, like, thinking about some shit. But then it's like, but then people who do have hardcore opinions just start getting in my face. Oh, and then crazy. and then I'm just like, dude, I shouldn't even brought it up because I don't even, like, it's not even my fight. So I'm like, yeah. And I, 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 I'm start laughing, too, when people get all crazy. I'm like, what the fuck do you do for a living? You work for Key Food. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Stack, just put the fucking, put the fucking, the, the, the Goya cans in the thing and the fucking, the, 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 and the pampers up there and you're good. Price them right and listen to your manager. Who the fuck are you? What are you going to do about the Key Largo fucking effects over there? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck up, bro. If guys act like the professor of fucking uh, MIT or something, you know, you work for Key Food. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Same thing with dudes who are talking about politics. Like, oh my God, listen, you're a plumber. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Run, make sure the toilet works well. And now you're a chemist. You're, you're fucking. You're you're fucking. You're a scientist now. You know about the fucking everything. Shut the fuck up. You know. What I mean? Yeah. It's just, it's, Especially musicians, like we start to think we're like extra deep, you know, because maybe we make like some yeah, deep, the, the deep music. I, I see the dude for Slipknot talking about fucking the, 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 the fucking the politics and fucking uh, the, 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 oh, the vaccine and shit like that. I'm like, here it goes. I'm like, this guy sings from a band. Who the fuck is he? He's a fucking doctor now. Shut the fuck up. All, all these people are fucking crazy. Musicians, do your music and shut the fuck up my politics, right? That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. That's I it. get in trouble though because. Like, different friends of mine, though, will fight with each other. Like, that's a oh. thing, you know what I mean? They'll be like, dude, how can you be friends with that Trump guy? And I'm like, bro, I'm just friends with the guy. Or they're like, how can you be friends with that communist? I'm like, I know it's retarded, but, like, that person's my friend. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You know, it's, it's just it's, like... That's thing, but people back in the day... That's you know, a good quality, they, I think. They debate. They, they can talk about it. Now, yeah. now, you know, now if, if someone's a Republican, oh, they're racist. Why are they from the way he's black? Uh, I'm like, yo, you young motherfuckers don't say it's it, it, it doesn't matter. It, it has nothing to do with race. It's like it's like that guy's not racist. Just because he thinks differently. So it's like uh America it's, it's like you can't I saw a whole bunch of things. These kids are fucking retarded. That's all they are. Like, one kid was hey, asked how many dimes are in a dollar? They couldn't say ten dimes in a dollar. They didn't know. Oh, the kids Jesus. were that how dumb they are. Right, right. You'd be yeah. saying like a kid who doesn't, a kid who can't even do that uh, math is like trying to talk about politics. They don't know how many states in the United States. Like, oh, well, right. Thirty. You know, they, 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 they don't know. Right, if, right. If, 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 if you have an American flag on your on your on your, on your, on your, your wall, and, and us racist. How's that racist? I'm proud, I'm Jewish, but I'm proud to be Jewish. Proud to be Puerto Rican. You can't be like, can't say that. I am. You know, I'm yeah. Proud. No, people are individuals too. That's the thing, you know. It's like it's not just like it's 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 not like there's just two kinds of people, you know. There's like everyone's a fucking individual, and you know, politics maybe it doesn't always line up, you know. But I mean, it's people weird. can still, you know, yeah. But um, yeah, man. Well, you know, I'm thinking. I don't know, two two and a half, two and a half hours. I think I think we're at a good, you know. <laughs> You're at a good point. I mean, I personally love to talk all day, but I don't want to. You know, I know you got you got places to be and all this. But uh, I Paul De, Paul Delaney has places to be. Oh yeah, are you just chilling today, Isaac? What's your what's what's your weekend all about, guys? Oh, my weekend, my, my my weekend right now is to is to uh, get my all my all my laundry done and uh, and separating all the stuff in my house. Yeah. This That's life all. shit, normal shit. Life yeah. shit, life shit, life changing. I'm getting ready for my move to Milwaukee. Oh, you're doing that soon? You're moving to I'm Milwaukee? Doing that like, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How soon? How, how soon are you leaving? What's like? Pretty soon. I got a few. We got a few. I got a. I'm uh, I got a few shows in October. I got two shows in October, three shows in November, and uh, December I'll be out. And it's all all Crown of Thorns. The 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 show. No, no. I got a Scarhead show on the Halloween in Jersey. Uh, I got Danny Diablo show, and uh, on the 25th of October, another Halloween party 
in the, uh, for for a while. Uh, then I got the Connecticut show uh, with Crown Thorns. And I got uh, a Boston show, right? Crown Thorns, right? Uh, yeah, I won't be there, but yeah, you won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. You keep all this shit running concurrently. I didn't know. Yeah, you do like performing Crown of Thorns and Scarhead and Solo just like in the same yeah, time same. time period and stuff. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's sick. It's, 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 like, it's, like, it's, like three, it's like three different uh, personalities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Side to yourself. Dude, that's the shit, man. Keeping it all, like, you know, keeping all the streams, man. Not holding anything, man, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, dude, and what are you, what are you up to, Paul? What are you, you, you this weekend? I, I'm I'm prepping at every minute that I have downtime. I'm just getting myself prepared to to tour in November with Black Anvil. Sick. Which requires well, a lot because this is uh, the the first time we're playing all new songs as a full band. So that's I have a lot of work cut out for me personally. So a lot of rehearsal is uh, is in place for the next four weeks. Yeah. Nothing. Yep. Nothing but pretty much. Yep. Dude, I don't know, man. You, Paul was being all like self-deprecating about his about his technique and shit. I was like, dude, you sound like you've got chops. You sound like you got a lot of chops, man. I don't know. Before you were like, ah, it's hard for me to do this shit. I was like, now Paul, 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 I know how to make a. Guy. I got the guy. ideas. I, I get the guys with the chops to get my ideas out there. Dude, you know, it, that's it, that's my move. It sounds some contracts, like, some contracts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like I like a self-deprecating joke. Yeah, yeah, no, because I mean, <laughs> as far as I know, man, I'm just like chops for days over here. But um, yeah, man, well, we that's... played a will turn. Uh, we pl- we played a will turn right around Thanksgiving. So if you're in town, oh yeah, when well, yeah, yeah, I yeah, will be in town. I will be in town for Thanksgiving. Funeral. With yeah, cannibal would love for you to come out, man. That'd be great. Dude, I would absolutely yeah. love to, man. Let's actually, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do it. I'll come out and we'll actually do a hang too. I mean, if you can hang afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, man. Good. Like I can feel somewhat at home out here with some New York people and stuff. I feel it, you know. You get um, to see Rafe. <laughs> I I've never hung out with Rafe. I mean, oh, it's it's an event. He's a psycho. Like what? Like hard partying and stuff. I mean, are we uh... ah, just his face, just exactly what you feel when you look at him. That's that's what he is. <laughs> yeah, he's got a serious face. He's not a joke. He's got a no joke yeah. kind of uh, countenance. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, fellas. Well, yo, thank you, dude. Thank you so much, both of you, for coming out, man. I, I yeah, he's like you're like you're, you're like uh, muffled at the last minute. <laughs> But, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you are, dude. Thanks. Yeah, man. Absolute honor to have you both on, and um, yeah, I'll send you the link. To, yeah, this is gonna we'll get him to put yeah, the audio yeah. up as a podcast and stuff. Um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna see. Uh, I mean, I'll see you in L.A., uh, Paul, and then I don't know. I'll I don't know when I'm gonna be in Milwaukee. But dude, if I'm in Milwaukee, I'm gonna stalk you, dude. I'm Definitely, gonna fuck I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll be around. I'll be around. I'm gonna. I'll I'll track you down, man. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Peace, guys. All right. Peace. Peace. Yes. There you have it. Danny Diablo, Paul Delaney. I mean, you knew it was going to be good, right? Um, some some uh, some podcasts, some live streams just just stream themselves, right? You know, you just put the put the folks together, and it's and it just is great. Um, not a lot of activity in the, in the questions, which is cool, but, uh, yeah, thanks for anyone who was watching. And, um, yeah, this will be up in podcast form on, uh, fucking Spotify. All right. Oh, last thing. If anyone wants to join the last things discord server, um, find me on Instagram, Instagram or Twitter. Uh, hit me up and 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 I'll uh, and I'll give you the link for the for the Discord server. It's like a private thing, but I mean, pretty much anyone is welcome to join, uh, as long as you just hit me up. Uh, so yeah, it's a good place to to bullshit about all kinds of stuff, music, culture, whatever. All right, thank you all.